I had fireworks in one of my circus shows and they're called ice candles. You've never recommended them to Chris? No, that's what I mean. (laughs) You'd think he'd check (laughs) if anyone would be abreast (laughs) of developments in the technology of indoor fireworks. It'd be the man who professionally (laughs) sticks them up his ass. Do you want to make your beard less smelly and gross? <laughs> Head on over to Rune Silk. They are a UK-based independent business that's been established since 2018, and they specialise in all different types of beard care and beard products. Yeah. In fact, the owner, a guy called Dan, he yeah. actually took third place at the 2022 British Beard and Mustache Championship. Yeah. So he's a real expert. Yeah, so I'm finding out right now that that is a competition that exists, but well done to him. Yeah. <laughs> they also have like beard oils, balms, aftershaves. I've got they're... the Dark Knight Bedtime Beard Butter here. It's That's lovely. That's the flagship product. Like you put it on before bedtime. It smells delicious. And the whole thing with this is that it's specially made like shampoos and conditioners and oils and all sorts. And it gets rid of all the fluff, all the bad stuff in your beard. Let's face it, it, your facial hair is gross sort it out and this is the best way to do there's it there's nothing Room worse silk. there's nothing worse than a bad beard is there and there's a lot I mean? look we've seen you at our shows there's a lot out there of dreadful facial hair that needs sorting out this is the way to do it so if you want all this stuff maybe like the sunglasses as well they make they make clothes they've got aftershaves loads of stuff head over to runesill.com and throw in the code DMT15 for a cheeky 15% off Hey, Rob, you are looking pretty comfy there, mate. Not just comfortable, but also stylish, thanks to these clothes from Fradime. I love Fradime. I've got myself a really lovely hoodie on, and I've got myself some joggy bottoms. They're genuinely really nice, really comfy. I've washed them a couple of times because I'm looking after them. Oh, and wow. They've, they've washed really well as well. So good. Even Freddie washed them. Like, genuinely, I've been wearing Fradime stuff all week since the centre's alone. And love it. And you fucking stink because of it. I stink from all the pussy I've been getting, mate, <laughs> because of my cool, cool clothes. <laughs> genuinely, like, I fucking love it. I've been wearing the stuff all week. Uh, really high quality British streetwear label. They're supporting the podcast. They're Fans, we absolutely love them. Uh, they've been on British GQ, so it's not just us recommending them. And if you want to uh, have a look and see what they're all about, head over to their website, uh, fradime.co.uk. That's F-R-A-D-I-M-E.co.uk. Or check them out on Instagram at fradime.uk. Big up to the Fradime. Warning. The following podcast contains extreme language and themes and is not suitable for all audiences. Right, uh, let us begin. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Ron Mulholland, and him, a big fat cunt. We've got a little not gay Tom, and we've got Hello. a very special guest today, our pal Martin Moore. How Hello. you doing, mate? Hello, I'm all right. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me here in somewhere near Bolton. Yeah, somewhere near Bolton. <laughs> That's where we keep it. We keep it nice and vague. Mm. Uh, vaguely near the Reebok Stadium. That's where we are. Uh, yeah. But yeah, good to have you, mate. Martin is a comedian. Also, he's uh, part of the Dirty Tattooed Circus. Dirty, Dirty Tattooed Circus Bastards. There we go. And uh, yeah, also like travel the world more than basically anyone I know. Yeah, that's the backstory pretty much, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. sort of like a, a comedic legend. Yeah, just a rambling, sh- tattooed freak. The so we're like, of, get on this podcast. <laughs> the amount this... of Martin Moore stories that I've heard yeah. that I've gone, that's not true, and then I've asked him and they've turned out to be true. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. It's fucking insane. Yeah. Have you ever heard the 50p pint glass story? I don't know if I have. Look at him! <laughs> you can see already! <laughs> do you, do you, Straight in, huh? Do you, Mate, we don't, we don't lube up. We don't even yeah. spit on it. We just go this, in. This totally felt like I was coming to do a drug deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we meet you, like, by an alley. In, yeah, in for that. Walk down the alley and then yeah. phone us. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, well, it's free. We do have quite a lot in the studio now. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, if you want any edibles at any point, we've got loads around. I saw, you, I saw you in the alley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I was driving past, I didn't realise there was a car park there. Yeah. And I saw you, because you're obviously a, a noticeable, big, tall figure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I thought, is this what you do? You hang out in the alley and just find a podcast guest. You that be, is do you pretty be much a podcast, it. Mate? Yeah. I, mean, I mean, it would be a more effective way of booking him, to be honest with you, wouldn't it? Like, we'd probably get more. <laughs> yeah, rather than leaving it to Freddie to do. It might actually be a slightly... There have been weeks when we have uh, been like less planning than me standing in an alley shouting at people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do you yeah, know yeah. what, but here you yeah. could easily get a character off the street couldn't you and put them on a podcast yeah 
yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah i don't know I, like, I think there'd be about five minutes that was interesting you'd be like oh no <laughs> yeah, yeah you know yeah. when they get fucking oh, going it's, and the minute they start shaking you yeah. go, oh dear, oh no, he's going to OD on the sofa. It's back like... in the alley, back in the alley. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, is our studio's so messy, we just push him into that corner <laughs> off camera. Like yeah, Oscar just, the Grouch. Just let him die. I reckon, on average, there's about three homeless people in, in this room at any point. Yeah, we couldn't tell. Like, we Honestly, there could be people living here and we would have no idea. But if you it's... could get sponsored by fentanyl... <laughs> We're really trying. We're trying to put in the we'll work. We'll take that sponsor. Absolutely. We've had still, worse products. Yeah, still wouldn't be as bad as air up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather put fucking fentanyl up my nose than fucking air up. Fentanyl has killed less people <laughs> than that shitty water bottle. Um, so anyway, the 50p story. Oh, yeah. right. Can I tell this or do yes. you want to tell well, it? Tell your, oh, yeah, tell Freddie. You, you tell the your half-remembered version of the story. No, rather. this is always better about because right, you get I, to correct. I hear stories that's been gone through that whispers thing for sure. years and come back to you. And, yeah, and yeah. it's funny how... Well, some... there's a couple that I heard about you. The first one that I heard, because you used to be a circus performer, didn't you? Well, still, still are, am. really. Still yeah. am, yeah. So um, I heard one time that you're doing a gig at the Hyena in uh, Glasgow. No, um, Newcastle. 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 The Hyena Newcastle, was. Sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there was a guy in the front row who was fucking constantly chatting. Yeah. Legendary, Mark... like, rough club hyena as well. Like, proper weekend club. Like, really, like, yeah. yeah. So Martin yeah. goes to this guy. He goes, if, if I can genuinely impress you, will you shut the fuck up? <laughs> and the guy goes, yeah, all right. And so Martin takes his pint and downs his pint in one in front of him. And the guy's like, I can do that. And then without breaking eye contact, throws the pint glass over his shoulder and it lands perfectly on the mic stand. Yeah, so so that that did, that, that was one. Yeah, that was oh, one. That that's such a sick skill to have. Do you know what? Bob? Oh, but, so nowadays like, the, you'd be like, tr- "Fuck, was that recorded? Was yeah. that recorded?" But, but, but the, the truth the balls is, to the back tr- yourself on that throw. I know, but it's a no, it's a no lose, isn't it? Yeah. Because if you threw his paint and it smashed, yeah. it's just funny anyway, isn't it? <laughs> that is fair. <laughs> that is yeah. fair. Do you know? I genuinely, yeah. I genuinely had a fluke. Uh, in uh, did you ever do at Edinburgh Festival? They do fringe on the assembly. And it's right. in that massive building at the mound. It's like the biggest. I never the, did it, but another building. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they do like a showcase show of of different acts. I was hosting it, and an Irish act called Lords of Strut were on, right. and they do a thing where they they've got a metal hoop, and one of them puts his arse through and squeezes his whole body through an unfeasibly like like this, small really. hoop. Yeah. yeah, and they go through it. So anyway, they go, they come on, and I'm a host, and they finish, and they're rushing off to another gig because it's Edinburgh. So and they leave private their... party for Al Porter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they leave their um, they leave their hoop on the stage. And as they, as the stage manager comes to get it, I backspin it so it spins back to me. Yeah. And as it's coming back, I kicked it with my foot, yeah. just thinking I'm just going to kick it away. And it flipped over and landed on the mic stand. Yeah. And 750 people go nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you meant it. My rest of my run was sold out. Yeah. Just on that one fluky <laughs> That's good, amazing. good trick. Because yeah. obviously you don't correct a minute. You're not going to go, I don't mean to do that. No you just, way. You just take the bow, innit? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And absolutely. I heard another one as well where, <laughs> uh, again, takes place in the hyena, where there was a guy at the back of the room who was heckling and shouting and stuff. And so you got a 50p... Uh, from your pocket and threw it and made it smash his pint glass in his hand. Mm. So at the time I had a a version of a knife throwing act. Yeah. You might remember these things. They're illegal now. They were throwing stars. Yeah, like yeah, nin- yeah. Ninja throwing stars. Yeah. Yeah. I know they're illegal now. They used to be legal. <laughs> if they used to be legal because they were just you sell not... them in like corner shops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, you could just buy throwing stars when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, but just yeah. Buy, we'd like, go and throw them at trees. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So because I had that in the thing anyway yeah. you know that hyena but I, I can illustrate how rough a gig that was in the day i was doing a christmas show there and the audience had turned up for the show and one side of the room the speakers weren't working and the the management knew the speakers weren't working but they'd still sold the christmas shows on it and a lad that's, come... that's so comedy that yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah they don't need to hear <laughs> they don't need to hear <laughs> who needs to hear the words they're saying <laughs> they can just sit there and look at that man stood there <laughs> They'll enjoy that. All these people full of cocaine will be perfectly fine about it. People can lip read now, right? Yeah. I'm sure all these hammered Geordies will be very reasonable about the situation. <laughs> so so this, this lad comes up to me and he he see, sees me from the poster. He sees I'm on the poster and he goes, mate, 
we can't hear on this yeah. side. And he clearly, this lad, he's in a smart suit and everything, but he's clearly a hard, a hard lad. You yeah. know when somebody has that When that suit's vibe. straining at the seams. Yeah, yeah. he just <laughs> had that vibe of toughness yeah. about him. Anyway, so he goes, we can't hear. And I go, uh, oh, I'm just one of the acts. I don't deal with that. I'll find somebody and send them over. So I go and try and do that. Anyway, long story short, it all kicks off because they can't hear. The rest of the room, they're going, we can't hear. The rest of the room are going, shut up. They're going, fuck you. <laughs> all kicks off. <laughs> Three police vans pull up and come in, and we're all at the back of the room. And as the police are throwing them out, two big burly cops are chucking that lad out. And he's so hard, he stops the cops as he's getting chucked out, looks up at me and goes, have a good Christmas, mate, and then gets chucked <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> they are a friendly bunch, aren't they? You know, like, they, they, that is amazing. Yeah, as he's getting arrested, where are my manners? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the Geordie version of the succulent Chinese meal, isn't it? <laughs> is that that like Australian yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of the best videos of all time. Did, did you see they found him now as an old man? He's still alive. <laughs> the succulent Chinese meal guy? Yeah, yeah. He's still alive. I saw an interview with him. He and looked like he was halfway through a stroke in that video. He looks now, he looks like a proper old drunk guy. Yeah, yeah. And um, uh, hilarious. It's on TikTok. I, I don't know what channel. It just came up and yeah. I just went, fuck me, it's that guy. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, shit. Stop touching my penis. Yeah. That guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah fucking hell. I didn't know that guy was still going. Good on him. Yeah. I bet he can make a fucking career out of that. you got to be able to like do appearances at like nightclubs for students oh, mate, and stuff. The, the bar for what you can become like social media famous Well, is that cunt who's famous for eating potatoes yeah, yeah. wrong? Bevo. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He it... just swallows potatoes. Someone asked me the other night about him. Like, so I was in I was in Blackpool at me, uh, my missus's grandma's 90th, right? And like one of their relatives it was like, ah, oh, have you seen that Bevo? And I go, is that the potato cunt who can't eat potatoes properly? And they go, yeah, have you heard of them? I was like, Freddie's trying to get him on the podcast. <laughs> what does he do? He just can't eat potatoes properly. He's gone viral because when he, he swallows way too quickly, basically. Try and get a video. That's up. the whole thing, right? He's now millions of followers. I'll tell His you, career is not I'll, being able to chew properly. I'll tell you yet. what, though. I'll tell you what, though, is how frustrating is it from the perspective of a performer? Yes. When, when you literally spend years yeah. perfecting a routine, making it literally perfect, and it getting nowhere near as much traction as a man who can't swallow well. It's genuinely wow. it's, it's baffling. Have you seen Big her? button there, have Tom. You, continuous guest. guest. There How you are you go. this bad at this? Have you seen that? Here, we, here he is. Here he is. Here we So click on the 22. Oh, that's the, that's has he the always had the turkey yeah. teeth or is that just him being successful Oh, now? his yeah. teeth used you know, to be horrific. Big up the hangover, beef, roast dinner. Skip beef, to the whatever. middle. Who's, who's asked yeah, about Come him. on, just eat a potato. Yeah, sorry, you. Aggie again. you know the rules. And that's it. Well, this is seasoned very well. The, the, that's it. It's just the way he swallows. The he way he swallows. Like he's still nice though. Seven out of ten. It's looking well. So it started off with like, well, him gulping a potato down weird, and like now his whole job is going on TikTok. Twenty-two million so you, views that has. You yeah. know when you see that 20, twenty-two million views. Yeah. So there's old school comedians that's had massive long careers. Yeah. That just never did the TV. Yeah. That never got on TV. So club comedians going for forty or fifty years that haven't been seen by twenty-two million people. Oh, nowhere yeah. near twenty-two yeah, and I, million. It's insane, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Have you seen her? That she, she's dressed like a pixie and she does, she does this like she's a, a computer, an old-fashioned computer game. Oh, like an going, NPC. Roses. Yeah, Ooh. and they they pay like basically like it, it, I can't remember what type of streamer this is. This makes me feel like such an old man. This was the first thing where I was like, I'm fucking a generation yeah. totally removed. People pay, so she'll get a thing that's like a rose, and a rose will be like thirty p or whatever. And then she goes, yeah, roses, roses, and then like it'll be like a cupcake, a cupcake, yeah. and everything has a catchphrase. And people just sit there, and she's sort of like it's like this toddler shit, and it's like people's brains are just being mushed. Do you know like, crazy? Do you know which one I really like? Uh, have you seen the Chinese woman that... Do mm. Have you seen the Asian, Asian woman? woman. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> I think she's Chinese. It, it, yeah, but that means she could be from anywhere from like Stevenage to <laughs> Sydney. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, like there's such that's, a wide range. That's the from Paris to Berlin song yeah. I wanted to hear. <laughs> from Stevenage to Sydney. <laughs> um, it's, it's a woman and she's doing like a shop 
type thing, yeah. like like it's an online shop, and she showcases the products, but she showcases them in three seconds. Have you seen that? Yeah, and they literally oh, yeah, come yeah. out, she's like, T-shirt, fuck off, water bottle, piss off, soccer ball, done. Do you know what I mean? And she just does it, but she does it for an hour, and she just, another T-shirt, scarf, hat, and she just... It, Why it, am I yeah. bothering? I mean, like we already—I thought this was the most low-effort form of entertainment <laughs> yeah. that was possible. Genuinely, I was like, "What? What is the easiest thing I do? I can do? I know. I'll just fucking record myself bullying Freddie. Fine. But it turns out there's a whole new, easier, more lucrative yeah. level below us. Have it's, you seen that one where they're they're an online shop and it's like I haven't seen this for a while. It might have gone now, but there's two women and uh, they're going. Um, Here we've got uh, uh, balls of water. Only, only 50p, only 50p, only for you. And then they go, only, only for you. And then another thing comes. Here we've got a back scratcher. Only, only for you. And that's getting millions of views. It's wild, isn't it? Like, if you worked in TV for ages as well, like, you know, if you spent ages, not you, because you like you worked on shit. But I mean, like, you know, <laughs> if someone who'd like worked on like good telly, like put loads of effort into it, and you'd be like, we have been barking up the wrong fucking tree. I put tree. loads of effort in, but it was still shit. Yeah, you, all right, you put loads of effort into making the worst TV possible, sure. But you could have just been jangling your keys at a camera and people would have watched it. The yeah. thing is, though, is, is with influencers, the, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And mm. speaking of which... Ooh. Oh, it's a Freddy segue. He's got a little plan, so he's segwaying into it. So I, this, this story's pretty dark even by our standards. Oh, Jesus Christ. But it's, it's very um, f- funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's got potential to go both ways, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, so click on the second one, parenting. Oh, no. Ruby Frank former eight passengers family vlogger sentenced on child abuse charges. So this is a woman who was a parenting influencer. I think I have read mm. this story ages ago. Mate, yeah. she's been sentenced to 60 years. <laughs> Fucking hell. What did she 60? do? She took, right. 60 this... years on the naughty step. <laughs> <laughs> With no blanket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The judge called it an exceptionally long time out. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, she is insane. So some of the videos that have been cropping up, and if you Google Ruby Frank, mm. I think it, I think it is, and just have a look. May I saw a video, and it was her chatting with her family, like on one of her vlogs that she just posted, yeah. and she was like, "Hi, it's Mason, one of my kids," and he was like, "You've not had a room now in how long, Mason?" And he was like, seven months." And he'd been sleeping on a beanbag for seven months. Why? Uh, he said he couldn't even remember. Uh. Oh, was she as a, as a like punishment? A guru, yeah. Yeah. Was she not like a child guru? Like, she was a guru. Of like, like, this is how to bring guru. your yeah. kids yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. it turns out she was just torturing oh, them. They're always horrific. fucking monsters, those people. Like, that. what's that uh, burble sing? That fucking teacher who's like, oh, the way to, like, par- uh, the way to like make kids fall in line is basically be a fucking Nazi to them. Is yeah. that her here that's the sort of burble yeah, 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 yeah. Like, they're always the parent advice is always just, like, fucking smack the little cunts. Yeah, I mean, I've always said you shouldn't smack kids, but you should definitely make them flinch. Right, Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like emotionally break them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, should yeah, make yeah. them think yeah. that you might snap one yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm I'm 60, right? Yeah. And growing up, ev- other people's parents hit you. <laughs> and any, anyone could hit you. Yeah, it was, yeah. it, and nothing would be said. That the whole housing estate's parents could hit you if you yeah. were doing something. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dip- Did you have? The cane at school. No, no, I didn't have the cane, but I got hit by like my mum. Mm. Yeah, same. But you same. know, it got... so we still had the cane. And looking back now, as a grown up, looking yeah. back at them teachers, they they were abusers. Oh yeah. Hitting. I once got the, I once got six of the cane for fighting, mm. and I went to my, the English class, and I couldn't write because it makes your fingers yeah. swell up. It's like a bamboo cane. Yeah. Made my fingers swell up, and the teacher said, "Why aren't you doing your writing?" And I went, "Cause I've just had the cane, and my fingers swell up." And he sent me for another six of the cane. Ian, Fuck. Which, which was the maximum you could get 12 but but it backfires on them because then i'm a, a fucking legend aren't i yeah then i'm a, i'm an 11 year old who's just had 12 of the key and yeah. all the big boys who are like 16 and a half i've never had that they, many. they all thought it was cool as fuck yeah and you go it's a backfire but fucking brutal the thought yeah. now imagine now being an, an adult yeah. man and hitting an 11 year old child with a cane it's, it's why weird it, isn't it why did it need to be so kinky well yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> and it's like they put little nipple clamps on you you're like, <laughs> 
Well, you're, you're handcuffed to a wall. Oh, you don't like... want to eat all your dinner? Ball gag. <laughs> <laughs> but at that, at, that, at that school as well, as soon as... As Six soon of as... the dildo for you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as soon as I got big enough, they, yeah. that stops. As soon as it happened to yeah. all of us, we, we only, me and my school friends only realised that talking about it as adult look back again as yeah. adults but as soon as we got big so when i was 15 i was probably 15 stone and as soon as we got big you never got you never got the cane anymore yeah just that in case that. you gave a dig back that was it? exactly yeah. as soon as you were big enough. there was definitely a point with like you know it's obviously much less uh serious like way less because like my mum wasn't anywhere near fucking abuse she was amazing but like i was a dickhead so occasionally i'd get a smack but there definitely was a point where it was like she hit me and i'd be like come what, on what here? Yeah. <laughs> like, it'd just be like God, that's it, not done anything, has it? it? Like, is, I am much bigger than you it did something. <laughs> like, it did something, but you didn't realise until you had an awakening 20 years later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. here's, here's the thing, right? Yeah, that's it, a really yeah. slow mom yeah. punishment. Yeah. I, just, <laughs> I, I just wish you hadn't hit me in that bath of beans. <laughs> if, you're, uh, if you're hitting an 11-year-old to discipline them, yeah. how hard... Like, if someone said to me, you have to hit an 11-year-old hard enough mm. that you can discipline them but not hurt them properly... I'd be like, the fuck does that even mean? If I'm like, hitting as an 11 year old, you don't understand how children feel pain. Mm. So you don't know, how, you literally are just guessing how hard. Yeah, what yeah. you're doing essentially, and this is what's really fucked up, is you're, you're using the feedback of their screams and crying <laughs> to in adjust. order to adjust yeah. your swing. Do yeah. you know what I mean? That's what you're doing, yeah. basically. I think it's the fear more than the pain, mm. I think. It's yeah. like the fear of getting hurt when you're 11 is so big. It's way worse than actually yeah. getting hurt. Although yeah. if I'm hitting an 11 year old, I want to knock him out. Like I'd be gutted if I didn't knock out an eleven year old. <laughs> See, when I was when I was twenty probably and first doing circus stuff, like first making as a professional yeah. performer. And I occasionally did sort of work with clowns. Occasionally you would be doing I was a juggler. Cash and you'd has, occasionally was it? be working stuff with, with clowns. <laughs> and I swear to God, an old guy who's probably my age now, he probably was a guy yeah. in his sixties, but he's an old guy, ain't he, when yeah. you're twenty. And He's an old guy me, all the time, mate. He was like, yeah, he was like giving me um, advice. And he literally showed me a pressure point on the back of a neck that you can squeeze on a kid to shut up a noisy kid. Do it on Rob. <laughs> Why on me? Why on you? Because you've got a longer neck. I haven't got a neck. You do. That, that is such a good <laughs> argument, to be fair. I, re, I, re, I forgot about your neck pillow that are getting in the way of your pressure go on, points. Go on, do it on I don't me. want to get pressure pointed out. Oh, you're such a little wuss. Tom, can you imagine that? Tom. Can you imagine that that your kid's been a bit rowdy and the fucking clown is yeah. ju jujitsu in them? You don't want <laughs> you don't want a clown <laughs> touching your kids in any way. To yeah. be honest with you, keep your clown hands to yourself. <laughs> Little five finger death punch. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do it? Not really. <laughs> Go on, do it. Do you want to hear? Do you want to hear a good? I don't do you know hear about a good, pressure points. Do you want to hear a good clown story? Yes. Yes. Right. Always. So, often with the clowns, old clowns, yeah. they're often alcoholics and they're often they did something else and then they got old. And so they were often a trapeze artist or, a, or a, a, an acrobat. And then right. they just got old and they end up being the clowns. So Like a what, football pundit. Like a football <laughs> pundit, exactly. Ex exactly. Do you reckon there's a really that, angry that? clown like Roy Keane? He's <laughs> yeah. just like furious. And then there's just like a Micah Richards one that's loads of fun. Yeah. <laughs> so so one, one year, my, one of my mates is a juggler and he's working in Blackpool. And they're at the the main pier in Blackpool and they're doing an outdoor show and giving away free tickets to get punters to come to the show. Yeah. And the clown that he's working with, again, an old guy, and the clown had had this amazing career. At one point, he'd been a wrestler. He'd been a pro wrestler on that old British wrestling circuit. Yeah, wow. like the giant uh, haystacks era. Yeah, yeah, yeah all yeah. that, going around the town hall. That was huge. In yeah, it was massive. Anyway, so now he's an old fella, and he's a clown. He makes balloons and stuff. And my mate's been working with him for ages, and he's a lovely, gentle guy, and he makes the balloons, and he doesn't really talk much and everything. Anyway, they're doing the show uh, to give away the free tickets and attract people. My mate's doing a ball-spinning trick on the street, and a stag night go by... And as the stag night go by being drunk, even though there's all kids watching, this guy comes over and punches the ball to try and knock it away. But the way it's getting moved, punches it right into my mate's solar plexus and wounds him. And he goes down and he's like hurt. And as he looks up, he sees the clown's got the guy around his shoulders, spins him around and body slams him. <laughs> 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 That's such great retribution. If you think you're gonna look hard in front of your mates, then you get body slammed by a by clown. A, an old clown. An old clown. Yeah. You're gonna get so much shit for 
ever. Oh, my God. Oh, like, yeah. You'd never be able to go to a pizza restaurant again for fear of flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Just every time one spins up, you're like, oh, God. Like, that's another one where you're like, you've got to be, the only small mercy is that's in the era before camera phones. Because if your mates had that video. you done. Like, viral. Straight done. away. Viral. And like that photo, it, it's going to be a screenshot of that. It's going to be your WhatsApp group chat forever. <laughs> Just yeah, this yeah, going to yeah. be a screenshot of you upside down being held by a clown. Because <laughs> that must be people's, that's people's default now, isn't it? Yeah. That they go for their phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, yeah. The, you Before see the, they help anyone. <laughs> you see the police stop and someday you reach, check that yeah, yeah. you've got your phone. I, so another story. I'm in Australia. Oh, you did Australia, didn't you? I we did last year. Yeah. yeah. So I'll sit this one out. You know, <laughs> you know in Adelaide. Did you yeah. go to Adelaide? I did, yeah, yeah. So there's there's Rundle Street, isn't there? Yeah. And it's like the main sort of restaurants and cafe street. Yeah, yeah. And then where the Belgian beer cafe is, it goes across to another one. And there's like yeah. an alley between the two There's a great streets. Uh, Greek vegan place there on that little alley. Is there? there yeah. Is. yeah. Anyway, that little alley. So they have their version of NASCAR during the festival, and all the rednecks—they call them bogans, All yeah. the rednecks come down from the from the hills and get and get fucked up and yeah. get totally fucked up. So I'm walking through that little alley to go to a gig, and it's about half eleven at night, and these bogans are coming the other way. So these rednecks—they're completely fucked up. And one of them, just out of the blue, just they looked like they were just going by. He lunged at me and in his drunken kind of state, went to grab my beard. And in my panic of it, I slapped him out and he fell on the, he knocked him out and he fell on the floor. <laughs> With a slap. I, That's awesome. Yeah, because he was such an he was awesome knockout. <laughs> But, so he falls on the floor and I instantly think I'm fucked because he's got like six mates mm. with I instantly think I'm fucked and getting ready to run. And they all pissed themselves laughing and videoed him on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's proper also, mates though, isn't it? Like if your mate's well, being a dick and he gets slapped out, you're like, ah. You yeah. got the whole uh, fucking, you know, Mr. Miyagi beard shit going on as well. Yeah, that's So if yeah. you see some, if you're pissed and you see yeah. an older gentleman like slap a man unconscious. Yeah, like that's like, not, I'm not, I'm I'm not, no, 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 I'm no, not no. next up on that one. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you're quite handy anyway, aren't you? Because you had a, a history of like bird knuckle boxing and shit like that. Only for, for only for sport. The, the, oh, only for fun. <laughs> I think I just I knocked people out because it was a laugh, yeah. <laughs> not for money. I don't know if it. I don't know if it's Did it for the love of the game. I don't think it's. An, I don't know if this is an Irish thing or yeah. not. But we did used to have like punch ups behind pubs for fun, <laughs> rather than as uh, angry. Like yeah. I've, I've never been in a fight when I've been angry. To yeah. be honest, I if I was angry, that's too scary. And when you say that, I used to do that with my mates. But what we used to do is we were only about sixteen. And we'd make a, a circle of bikes and then we'd just fight each other. But that so was like, like when you're 16. Like a... You can't really like fucking hurt each other that much at 16, can you? No, I think you can. I think people die. <laughs> yeah, people can die, can't yeah. they? Well, I'm not... just amazed that you had a bike. Yeah. And also, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, also, like, you know, they weren't getting hurt when Freddie was fighting, yeah. those big fat pillow hands. You'd you be absolutely bike, fine. Do you mean mobility scooter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He trundles up, charges it. <laughs> right, who wants it? <sighs> Let me just have me inhaler. Then you're fucked. <laughs> but have you seen? Have you seen this thing now with mixed martial arts? Yeah, I, I think that's actually that's good. Now I love mixed martial arts. Yeah, because now I you saw see, some of it I've recently. Seen... Watched Paul Smith get knocked the fuck out. <laughs> All right, yeah. but I've, I've seen people on the streets now, like late night after gigs, and and they're fighting, and, and instead of fighting, yeah. They they do it. They're trying to do a wee wrestle. Yeah, Everyone's yeah, trying so to shoot for takedowns so in street cuddling. fights. It's insane. Everyone's going for like jujitsu takedowns because yeah, everyone yeah. does jujitsu classes. Like they're really popular. So like yeah, I see it all the time. It started happening when I worked in pubs. Like towards the end of me working in pubs, I kept noticing it. It's like we're in the sort of pub where there was a lot of fights. I went to like two three in the morning, and it was the only place in town. So like yeah. all the knobheads had come from every other pub. There'd always be scraps and that. But yeah, by the end. Everyone was, it went from wild haymaker swinging. Yeah, yeah. Just well, everyone shooting for takedowns. Which is, must, yeah. must be safer on that. If they're just cuddling around on the floor. Yeah, I suppose there's less of that. But then, like, you know, it depends if they don't let go of a chokehold, then someone will just die. It's, um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We interrupt this episode of Dead Men Talking to let you know that I am going on tour this year. In October and November, I'm doing my first UK-wide uh, stand-up comedy tour. I'm going to 20 different venues across the UK, uh, and I'd love for you to come and watch. Tickets are available from Sunday the 10th of March, and you can get them over at www.freddyquinn.co.uk. It's funny you should mention MMA. 
Oh, is it time for Freddy Segways? Uh, no, you don't need to go back on the thing. Uh, so We I, haven't even done that story I, at all. We swerved I, that. Um, <laughs> uh, so I had my first MMA you went? class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, amazing. And so Freddy got would, offered free MMA training. Cool. Yeah. What, would, what would you say if I told you that there was video footage? <gasps> wow. I would say um, I am already tumescent. We are, we are, <laughs> we are, we are, we are saving it for the Patreon. Amazing. Which so, has already been out. So, Which has already come out. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, so Patreon 100. So uh, yeah, we're saving it for last week. So, so, so enjoy that. Well, I'll, t- I'll talk about it yeah. uh, now. So so the guy got in touch with me on Instagram and he said, like, I'll do it for free. He was at a show, basically. And I went down. He's a really lovely lad, actually, yeah. which is good because I called his missus a slag on many occasions. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was just kicking just the in shit her DMs. out of me. I he was just going to bite me. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Right. Yeah. Uh, very fucking, very weird, very different from what I'm used to. Right. So I had yeah, moving. No, well, no. What I mean by that is, so I have done a little bit of boxing in the past, uh-huh. and so naturally, like I already know how to set my feet and stuff. I know how to jab and hook, but things like kicking is so yeah. unnaturally weird for me mm. that you really have to like think about it. You it, like, yeah. like it slows everything down. Did a couple of holds, a couple of grapples and shit. And just fucking getting your head around it is... Mm. That in itself is a lot. Yeah. It's good. It's got fun. Good. Like, I'm genuinely really pl- proud of I don't, you. I don't He's spoil... doing a little exercise. I don't Look at him. I don't want to spoil the video too much, but um, we, we, we we're grappling a little bit. And he showed us how to do this throw. Uh, and he's a big lad. He's bigger than me. He's, he's about 19 stone. 19, 20 stones. He's a big, big guy. And it was basically sort of getting somebody in a in a guillotine and then sort of sitting down on them so they'll go over the top of you. And then the first time I did it, I, I didn't go underneath him enough and his whole body just came down on the bridge of my nose and it fucking killed. Mm, yes. It was so painful. Yeah. Just his, his, his fat ass and his... Sorry if you're listening, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> and he's... And he's uh, just me and my glass house throwing all my stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's, he's sort of... The bridge of his back just went slap right on there. Like, because I think that's the thing that people that just watch mixed martial arts on the telly don't know. Just having a heavy person on top of you is exhausting. Yeah, crazy. Just like, breathing. Just hard. wrestling. Like when they're like, oh, oh is the bit that looks uh, least impressive in uh, like MMA is like when people are like clinching up against the cage, but it takes so much effort and there's so much going on within it. It's like, you oh, know, it's 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 mad. Like yeah. they're, they're and incredibly the, skillful. Like and the thing that if they do that bet that looks boring, if yeah. they do it slightly wrong, the they're fucks. getting an elbow in the face. Yeah, or they're getting they? dropped on the red. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is it. I didn't know what the clinch was sort of for, but yeah. it's it's basically a constant... It was for cuddling and kissing for you, isn't it? Because hey. he's gay. Um, <laughs> it's basically a constant jostle for position. Yeah, constant. Yeah. And, and it's just, yeah. as as one arm goes in, the other one comes out, yeah. and it's constantly you and them trying to... So if you're not on it mentally, you've, you're fucked. You, you're just, you're done. Yeah. And it's and it's that constant... It, it's, it's very interesting to sort of... Uh, do it and kind of be, because there's so much more to think about. You don't think about yourself getting tired because mm. you're I, shitting yourself. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, this is it. My, my, my exercise I've, is good, mate. Yeah, uh, <laughs> do more. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm now regretting uh, suggesting that Freddie does exercise. Yeah, because I feel like if Freddie ever got really fit yeah. and good at fighting, yeah. With his mentality, that is a dangerous combination for women. It's not, it's, for women, it is terrifying. <laughs> that is true. But, like, you know, it, <laughs> the last thing he needs to know is, like, grapple holes. Yeah. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ways to put people to sleep is the last thing we need Freddie knowing. You, you know you've fucked up dinner if you're getting in an arm bar. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, because a little slap is just a little reflex thing. But when you've got to put them to the ground... <laughs> When you got to full mount, <laughs> so I've seen those be... videos where people are breaking, the, doing leg kicks and breaking their legs. Oh, I've seen it in fights. I saw Horrible. it live. I saw someone it's do really? that live at the Paul, uh, at Paul Smith fight. Someone broke their leg. Uh, it was f- oh, you went to see Paul? I went to it. Yeah, it was, was fucking intense. Was it in an arena? Yeah, it was in the Manchester arena. Oh, it was yeah. insane. Rob it... said, "Scariest thirty seconds of his life." <laughs> <laughs> no, that was losing my virginity. Uh, <laughs> hey. But that, like, it was it was super intense because like the atmosphere was awesome. There was like, and it was a full like professional fight bill so it was like amazing fights on 
night. It was like genuinely like a sick bit. Like I right. saw some fucking class fights. But then like uh, I had aimed to microdose on mushrooms, but slightly overshot it. So like uh, when Paul came out, it was so intense. I was so like proud of him, and it was so cool like the walkout. And then he just started getting his head kicked in, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so where was he, where was he in the bell? Uh, he was like not uh, not the last fight, but I think it was like um, co-headliner. <sighs> So that must have been. For him, he was on the poster. It was yeah. Paul Smith but and Jake Quickenden. Was that him. thing of he was waiting, wasn't mm. he? That thing of waiting yeah, yeah, while the night. other things were happening, and yeah, you yeah. sort of imagine seeing the other guys coming back in the dressing room with broken noses yeah. and stuff. And like the fight after him was like a number one contenders fight. It was like a real Amazing. like you know high. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Like yeah, it was fucking cool. Do you know? Um, do you know Craig Campbell? Yeah, yeah. So, it, it, do you know Craig Campbell? Big, yeah, big, I, I've um, never met him, but I know him. Yeah, yeah. big Canadian fella. Yeah, yeah really can, fat. And yeah, like, I don't know him well, but I know what. Well, he's, know, like. he's currently in a fight with uh, reality. So, uh, <laughs> oh, he's, I think he's, yeah. Is he a conspiracy theorist? Yeah, he's like, yeah. yeah, COVID. I'll be honest, the first round 10 8 to reality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. COVID really sort of set him off, I yeah. think. He I told know. me about, he, he had a. You know, occasionally you get gigs that are like stand-up gigs, but they're not stand-up gigs at all. So this was doing a set in that octagon cage thing right. at, at one of those nights. <laughs> I know, it's just, oh. He said he, he went in and he put his water in his notebook or whatever phone in the corner and he started doing his stuff. And they, of course they fucking, of course they yeah. did it. Why would they like, not? What, what is going to happen? Who's going to do well? Nobody. So he's doing come really, Billy really Connelly badly. Billy in there and they'll and get booed off. He looks over and the promoter guy's going, just come out, mate, just come out. So he's going, he's trying to trying to finish on something, isn't he? Like, so like we've all done. He lost the stand-up and, set by knockout. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the bouncers come into the thing because yeah. they're there going to bring in the referee and they're going to bring it starting the fights yeah. are coming and so he goes over and the bouncer goes just leave me and he goes I'll just get my stuff and the bouncer goes no just leave and pushes him and he ends up wrestling with the bouncers <laughs> so it the becomes the opening now fight now clapping and cheering so the audience is now the audience love yeah. him now that he's fighting the bouncers I did, that's um, so funny I, I did a, a boxing match like a set in between a boxing match once and it was one of these like ultimate white collar fucking whatever boxing yeah. matches um, and I got I, I did it because I was already in the area it was a double and I was being paid 400 quid in cash Fuck and he misheard me. it as white power. <laughs> it's blue collar, isn't it? It's not white collar. It's blue collar, isn't it? No, no it's white collar because it's like people in offices and stuff who go, oh, blue oh, collar I'm going to trade. Like working That's class. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Blue collar boxing is just boxing, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, died on my fucking ass. It was dreadful. I reckon yeah. I did less like, than Oh, butter beans out of retirement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Butterbean, is it a retirement? Well, yeah, he's like, I was talking about him last week with Freddie, actually. Right. Like, I saw him do his DDP yoga thing and like coming back to fitness. Yeah. Anyway, should back we, for one more fight. Should we get back on this fucking abusive woman? Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, get, yeah, yeah. let's get this this train back on the tracks of abuse. Uh huh. Um, right. So she was like telling people how to parent whilst being awful, basically. Yeah. 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 Go on. Ruby Frank, a former family vlogger and parenting advice guru, has been sentenced to four prison terms of one to 15 years, according to AP, meaning she will face four to 60 years in prison <laughs> on charges of child That's Right, quite that a is jump, but in that four yeah, to 60. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a wide range. Like, if you want to narrow with, that down a bit. They've led with 60 in yeah. the articles, which is. Yeah, like, she's getting four, let's be real. Like, you know, she's, yeah. she's uh, I imagine. Oh, a, I don't know. I think she might be getting longer than four for some of the shit. It's horrible. Relatively wealthy white woman. She'll be out for. But maybe her thing will go against her. Maybe her fame mm. will go against her. They'll want to use her as an example. Because you get that, don't you? You get people that have gone to jail for something and they become famous. Mm. So every time they go up for parole, they can't yeah. come out. But Gary Glitter. Yeah. He's he had parole recently, didn't he? Yeah. Um, let him out. out! <laughs> come on, with the campaign starts here. Free glitter. I thought he was What's dead? he done wrong? Mate, Let him go. If you he have, went to Thailand. If, you remember, that's where you're meant to go if you want to be a nonce. If you have a campaign called Free Glitter, you're going to get so many gay people yeah. turning up to that. Like, you could be oh. the face of the campaign. For it. <laughs> I honestly did it. I did a gig in Hull once yeah. and the, the night before, it's just before your man got done, the night before the gig, it was in uh, Hull Town Hall, and the night before the gig, they had had uh, Gary Glitter and the Glitter Band had, had been on. And uh, I was just chatting. I was going, oh, is he still a thing? And uh, 
the manager of the theatre said, yet yeah, one of the things that they did after the thing was people got their photograph taken with them and they would show their tattoos of leader and I'm in mean, the glitter gang and whatever. And you go, fuck, they must have been covered up in I them tattoos. Yeah, that's fucking rough. If you've got a Gary Glitter tattoo, send it into our tattoo yeah, yeah. competition. <laughs> or any pedo. Yeah, any, pedo any tattoo. pedophile tattoo, send them in. It's well, there's like, a range, I don't know. There's quite a few. Yeah, like yeah. lost possibilities. Of- yeah. But like, Lost Prophets, was I, that him, the kid? Yeah, the yeah, baby yeah. baby fucker. Yeah, 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 Ian Watkins. There's loads of those tattoos about. I think you probably shouldn't get a tattoo of anyone who's still alive, right? You mm. need them to be, like, done and, like, boxed off so you know the full story. Like Hitler. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. You know exactly what he's about. Get a Hitler tattoo. Yeah, not yeah, a yeah. paedophile, so yeah. fine. I think he was a bit of a paedophile, actually. I think he, like, fucked his, like... He fucked uh, his niece, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, his niece and, like, shat on her. He did, like, poo play. What? He was... Yeah, this Hitler was a oh, bad guy, mate. That's put me right off. I know, that. I'm sorry to do this, mate. Never meet your heroes, in it? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, he was into like all sorts. Of, like, it's not surprising that Hitler needed something stronger than like vanilla missionary, yeah. in it? Like, yeah. that's a guy whose tolerance level's well, got to be I've, pretty I'll high. Shit. I've seen those videos where he's. Um... Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen the videos point. where he's on speed. Yeah, and yeah, and he's, he's like, like, "Fuck, I can." Yeah, he's going. Yeah, yeah. don't give a psychopath speed. I uh-huh. would say, don't give like a it makes a, you angry. Speed. It's an angry drug. Mm. It's quite. A, it's got an edge to it. Speed. Mm. Like it was made me a bit fucking grumpy. Like it wasn't my. my but favorite. that's also partly because you're probably getting trucker speed, aren't you? You're probably getting biker speed. I was getting biker speed, mate. Yeah, I'll be yeah. honest. Every bit of speed I've had, you know exactly where I've got all of the speed that I've had from. You know yeah. the person I've yeah, got yeah. it from. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, it was that grade speed that I was doing. Yeah, I think yeah. the secret to them Let's guys, just you know, call is... him. <laughs> <laughs> I think the secret shut the, the fuck up, Freddie. Yeah. I think the secret to them boys that yeah. we're talking about them biker ones yeah, is yeah. they don't not take it. They don't stop taking it. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Just yeah. they don't do it as a oh it's the weekend. Come on, we'll go out and we'll, oh, we'll no, take they a treat wee it bit of like drugs. Meds. First, they just do it all the time. Yeah. All day, every I, day. Uh, first time I worked for that guy, he uh, said, um, uh, "Thanks for coming." Uh, so payment wise. Uh, I can pay you cash, speed, or half and half. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Genuinely. And he, and he literally had a big pile of speed in front of yeah, him. Yeah. And I was like, I am in Oxford, mate, and I live in Preston. I will have half and half. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got on really yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on oh, nice yeah. and quick. I, I always, I like, I took half and half more than once. <laughs> like, you know, you never take the whole thing. That's that's insane. Nah. Yeah. Because I also, you get it. fill up your tank with speed, yeah. can you? And also, like, the half and half you'd get was like more speed than I'd want to consume in a year. You know, was yeah. the amount that I'd end up, I'd be getting I, this I, brick of speed off him. One year at those at those gigs, the farmyard. You know, yeah, the one that was in such North a Yorkshire, sick one. The biker yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, at one point, I well, at one point I had a DVD out, a special comedy special out that was recorded at the farmyard. Sick. Wow! But I, I used to sell DVDs after the. Yeah. After, it seems so old fashioned, doesn't it? Yeah. That thing. Yeah, I used to sell I DVDs to sell and, and cassette I, players. I had a wee suitcase, and I've I got would sell jaws. DVDs. I've got a face <laughs> off. <laughs> because it's kind of you feel a bit of a cunt, don't you, selling stuff? Like, it's yeah. nice selling stuff, but it's also, you want to do it in an amusing way, don't you? Rather yeah. than just go, give me money. It just feels like so, a weird gear shift, doesn't it? After just, yeah. just trying to make them laugh for like 20 minutes, so they're yeah. going, can I have your money, please? Here's this thing. So yeah. I used to go, uh, I've got DVDs for sale, come and see me there, they're 15 quid, uh, or I'll take drugs or blowjobs. And I would try and make yeah, a wee yeah, joke yeah. to it. And anyway, so I, I did one of these biker things and people were coming, they'd look at stuff and some people would buy stuff and some people wouldn't and they could go in the wee box and it was a few different ones. And then about a week later, I'm getting ready to go to Dubai to go and do gigs. And I thought, well, I'll take the box now. I'll just take 20 DVDs mm. just in my suitcase. And thank fuck, because in the box, people had just left pills. <laughs> People, wow. when they were looking at it, uh, they had just left me a wee tip in the form. Right. I, I was but like, if you'd the... taken that Dubai, you'd be dead now. Oh, you or yeah, yeah. You, just disappear. Yeah. I, yeah, I then took that bunch of drugs in that little box. I was at the Glee Club, and I put them on the table in the green room, and I said, "If anybody takes drugs, I've got these." And it's like, why was I never maybe there for this? eight or nine pills yeah. Yeah. that's there? And I go, "If anybody wants it," and everybody. 
I won't name any names, but yeah, you yeah. wouldn't be surprised. And everybody picked them up. And then they went, Where, why? Where did you get this? And I said, oh, God, I'm a biker thing. They all put them back. <laughs> Pussies. <laughs> I'd yeah. be all over that shit. But, like, yeah, like I always, when I did them, I would always mention that I did drugs because then I would just walk off stage and be handed shit. I was in the queue getting a burger and someone just put, like, half an ounce of weed in my hand. I was like, fucking yes. I think you know, it's amazing. Is, I think this is how Jamie Hutchinson dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he ever does one of them, it's like, genuinely, like, I had some fucking great times. When I was drinking, I would stay over. At them and like party with them all that. It was great. I couldn't there think was, of you know, there was one because they... they're all disabled as well. These bikers, like loads of them, and like there was one guy. We were playing Human Buckaroo on like the most fucked guy, and there's loads of us doing it. We we're having a great time, and there's this tower of shit on this guy, and he's just fucking Sparko. And like this woman comes in the tent and goes, "What are you doing to him?" And he goes, "Ah, he's passed out. We're playing Human Buckaroo." She goes, "He's got cerebral palsy." <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we're like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> so it's like me and a bunch of bikers just taking chairs and shit off this guy who's just. Heavily disabled. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> that must have made the game really hard. <laughs> now, after the first few things, he really still it really kept him still. He was pissed as well, like yeah. you know he was. But like, yeah, so funny. they're brilliant gigs, but aren't yeah. they? They're yeah. like they're the, they're best. the best gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I once saw um, Mike Wilkinson. Yeah, Nor- Northern English. You know, I love yeah, Wilkinson. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so he was on stage at one of those, and the stage is just like a couple of pallets, but it's still like I know. Two, two and a half feet tall. Mm. And he just did like a comedy club put down to somebody in the audience who then stood up and walked over to him who was now taller than him while he was standing yeah, yeah. on the stage and sort of just slightly picked him up and said something else back to him and put him down again. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, most people there are like the loveliest, sweetest people, but there's a couple where you're like, I'm going to not go near that man. Yeah, well, they all have <laughs> yeah. their own sort of like, it's it's very uh, hierarchical, isn't it? And they've all got like their own patches mean certain mm-hmm. things. And because Rick used to say at some of them, like, don't take the piss out of these people because I yeah, won't yeah. be able to smooth it over. Yeah, yeah. There, was, there was a guy that was like, yeah, there was like one night when I was hammered where uh, like one of the uh, guys who like ran it was just like gently guiding me away from people I shouldn't be near. Yeah. It was dead nice. It was yeah, just yeah. like, we'll just because well, they're not because yeah. they're not allowed to wear their colours mm-hmm. at those ones that we do. Yeah, 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 you you can't tell who anyone is. But yeah, what, but they know. I once yeah. did one, and as I was leaving. Uh, I noticed a marquee that I hadn't seen that was a way out the back. And I thought, oh, this would be some, there'll be like a strippers or something like that. Yeah. And I thought, I'll just go over. And it had the name of a, a particular outlaw biker right. club. And I just seen that and said, members only. And I want to leave. And somebody went, Martin, no, I've just seen the show. Come on in, I'll come up buy you a drink. And yeah. I, I was, if you're invited in, you go in. And literally guys with swastikas on their, tattooed on their heads and yeah. stuff. Like the proper, the ones that would be in a movie, they'd be the criminal guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I saw yeah. a couple of them. Like I had, uh, I don't know, I've told the story on here ages ago when we were in our, when we were in like my spare room here, I still think of when, yeah. I, when I did, uh, I did one of these where like, it was only after I'd been on, uh, I was stood with uh I think it was with Clayton Jones and Mick Ferry was on stage and I just noticed the backdrop. Well, I'd already been on, Clayton's already been on. I looked over and went, Clayton, come here. Have a look at that backdrop. Look at the middle of that logo. And the logo in the middle of it was like a winged skull with a biker helmet and in the middle of it was a swash sticker on the backdrop of the stage, right? I've got to say, Clayton was a risky booking. Well, this is it. Clayton, <laughs> uh, for anyone who isn't aware, is a, uh, he's black. So, you know, I, I don't know if he's mixed. I think he's mixed, actually. But, um, yeah, like, definitely not white anyway. Mm. So, like, we were both like, who fuck? Then, like, we uh, basically, when Ferry came off and pointed at him, he went, oh, fuck. We all, like, scarpered, basically, you know, from this. Uh, the gig had been nice. They'd taken <laughs> photos, put them on Facebook, and there is a photo of me. I've tweeted it before because I had to be like, look, I'm getting out ahead of this. I'm not letting this <laughs> lingering around the internet. There is a photo of me with a microphone, with my arm in the air, <laughs> in front of a swash sticker. And it looked like, I was like, look, I promise I was, I was just doing jokes. <laughs> like, so yeah, I just had to tweet it so it wasn't like a thing that was lurking yeah. around that but was you know, fucking you, wild. You, know that you can't, because you can't tell. So yeah. once in Essex, me and Tony Burgess were doing a gig in Essex in, oh, I forget what it's called, the place, but in Essex anyway. Yeah. It was on a Sunday and then we were, I was driving us back. It must be 25 years ago. And in the middle of the gig when Tony's on stage, a big group of lads come in and I, except that they were very working class, I would have put them as a rug, as rugby players. Mm. But, in the South, rugby's quite posh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So then I thought they must be just a big football team, big lads that play football. They were all 
clearly together. And so they come over and, and they heckle Tony a wee bit and he gives them, he's great, he gives them a bit of stick. And then I do my set and then we're trying to leave. We've got that long drive back and they'd loved me and Tony. They'd loved that. And they were standing around. They, they barely would let us out without buying us a drink. They were really chatting, shaking hands and everything. And then I go, who are you lads? Are you like a football club or something? Combat 18. They were the local fucking com, which is Nazis, isn't that? Yeah, which is yeah, yeah. Full on Nazis. Oh. Nazis. Just full, full on Nazis. Nazis. Those are and the ones that, like, the National Front are like, whoa, calm down, lads. You yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah. And it, up until that point, yeah. we were going to get in the car and go, weren't them football guys? Weren't them rugby lads, yeah. lovely lads? And then you just go, weren't they scary fuckers? Because yeah. you just can't tell. You just yeah. don't know, you know, un unless you're Clayton Jones, and then it's probably a different vibe. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but everyone would be that nice. That was the thing. I think these ones just hated Jewish people and like not, you know, like you know, whatever. It was fucked. It's so wild though to like you know see the... a swastika in the wild in this millennium. It's so crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. just like it's such a thing where it's like it's always just been like a cartoonishly but ridiculous you know, thing to me. It's, it's funny, but in that because there was in punk. They used to be. Mm. So I would have been a, wee, yeah, exactly, a yeah. young boy. I'd been 14 or something when punk was happening. Sid and Vicious always had, had a swastika swastikas. band, yeah. And that was to wind up their grandparents, wasn't it? Yeah, They'd yeah, been yeah. through the war. And then skinheads... <laughs> it was. That was the point of it. It yeah, was to go, fuck wasn't you. It? Yeah, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then skinheads got into it as actual... Yeah. That actually, actually into it, isn't it? Yeah. But, and, like, because yeah. original skinheads were, like, reggae fans. And, like, the original skinhead movement was, like, the most inclusive, like, uh, you know, like, racially diverse movement that there had ever been in British you know culture. What, and then it got just co-opted by the Nazis, isn't so it? So, again, being a wee boy, probably 15, probably a 15-year-old, and I'd heard The Clash, the band, the English yeah. band, The Clash, and they played reggae-influenced yeah. music. I'm wearing and, a and, Slits T-shirt, actually, under here, right, which cool, is right? yeah, a very yeah. reggae-influenced yeah. punk band. Yeah. So yeah, I'd seen are. The Clash. But they, have other, they have other influences, The Slits. Such as? Yeah. Um, uh, Scar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess awesome. yes. Yeah, <laughs> really? Well, the scar's just like an upbeat sort of like danceable reggae. That's what I've always said. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd only seen the Clash on the telly. Yeah, and only heard this music on the radio, mm. and so I didn't know that reggae was black music. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't know. Well, how would you know? Because mm. I didn't know any black people. There was no black yeah, yeah. people in Korean. <laughs> so then when I discovered, there literally wasn't. Yeah. There literally, literally wasn't. There was in. in Growing up in Korean, where I come from, there was one Chinese family who ran the takeaway. Yeah, yeah. Everybody else was white. I, I, I've got a joke about this, but it's completely true. We had a kid at school called the English Bastard. <laughs> and it wasn't, the family weren't even English. They had, had a holiday in Blackpool. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. Uh, <laughs> this family weren't even Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> just, just had a chow mein. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking amazing. Yeah, like, I grew up in a very, like, Caucas a very Caucasian town, but not to that degree. You know, like, people did go to Blackpool sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The Army of the Dead needs you. Join us at patreon.com forward slash Pod to get even more from this podcast. If you love it, you can get an extra episode every week. We've got loads of specials on there. There's more stuff going up all the time. And most importantly, you are the reason, you who've signed up to the Army of the Dead, are the reason that we can go so hard. The reason we don't need to give a fuck about upsetting anybody is that we have you behind us. So join us at patreon.com forward slash Pod. Get yourself a free trial for a week. If you like, it's three pounds a month. You get loads of extra stuff. Now, here's a little taster of a recent episode from Patreon for you to enjoy. It's a long one. About eight years ago, I started a new job. I'd been there a week and got friendly with one of the managers who invited me around on a Friday night for a, with his wife and some friends. I was only 21 and someone offered me a bit of cocaine, which I'd never done before. At 21, you fucking virgin. Yeah, this big gay. <laughs> A bit turned into a lot. I think I did coke when I was fourteen. <laughs> a bit, That's too early. Yeah. That's stupid. A yeah. bit, a bit turned into a lot and is it, the funniest way ever of describing taking cocaine for the first time. Yeah, that is how coke works. A bit turned into a lot. Yeah, no, no one, nobody has one for the first yeah. time. No, well, the, never, ever, ever. Yeah. You don't have a tiny. There's, oh, that's enough cocaine for me. No, yeah, I'll just nobody, have one. I'm driving. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> wakes up after a night out with a surplus of cocaine no, exactly. left over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A bit turned into a lot, and before you knew it, I'd gone through a Henry, and it was 7am. Everyone left, and my manager went to bed with his wife, leaving me to sleep on the couch with a swinging jaw. 
Fast forward an hour and I woke up on the couch absolutely desperate for a shit. I immediately realised I'd pissed myself all over the couch but didn't have a chance to evaluate as I ran to the downstairs bathroom. I pulled my pants down and the wettest shit I've ever had fell clean out of my boxes, splattering all over the floor, skirting board and toilet. Oh, this is Botty's house, remember. The... You uh, you run away at that point. I think, yeah. You've no Haven't long... you moved towns? You no longer have a job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These were fitted bright yellow boxes and were stuffed to the brim. I went through two packs of baby wipes trying to revive the cunts, but in the end decided it was a lost cause and went about trying to dispose sorry, of them. Sorry, they tried to clean shitted boxer shorts with baby wipes. Yeah. Mate, you don't just get rid of tight yellow boxers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to hold on to those. You want to hold wanna save them. them. You want to hold on to your SpongeBob boxers. These, came, you? these came in a pack of you three. You can't do coke in SpongeBob boxers. It's not okay. These came in a pack of three with some body wipes. <laughs> These didn't have just any boxes. This is fucking unreal. After the first pack of baby wipes, wiping up your own shit out of these <laughs> pants, you're like, ah, maybe another pack will do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point where he goes, am I 50% done? <laughs> <laughs> I just can't imagine how any amount of baby wipes would save them. I just can't picture how that would ever work. They were full to the brim. Full to the brim with liquid <laughs> shit. And he thinks a bit of a wipe down is what it needs. It's fibrous. It has absorbed it. It's, I mean, to be fair, this level of optimism is incredible. It's wild, isn't it? <laughs> he should have just walked up to his, box and, uh, his boss and gone, I've got a full bag of shit in here. <laughs> Well, he was feeling very confident for some strange reason. I've got full boxes of shit in it. No, no, I don't need a toilet. I'm old school. <laughs> Just two bags of baby wipes, please. Oh, I'm old school. Fucking hell. After considering flushing or bidding them, I opted to throw them over the back fence into the woods behind. Unfortunately. Wait, 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 wait. These are just boxes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bright yellow. To... Bright you, yellow. You've got to bury them if they're bright yellow. Well. Well, I mean, is it not an option to just have a carrier bag and just a... Yeah. Put them in a carrier bag and take them with you. <laughs> Got a full load of shit in here. <laughs> <laughs> you all right, love? Yeah. I've got yesterday's Chinese in here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so he threw them into the woods behind. Unfortunately, they got stuck in a branch about 15 feet high. And Why rem- are you throwing it that hard? <laughs> <laughs> they just need to get over the fence. You don't need to launch them into the next fucking county. Johnny Wilkinson. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon he spun around like he was doing the discus? <laughs> No, he held him like shot put really close to his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh. still get a branch about 15 feet high and remained there for months as I checked on further visits. I then left without saying bye and unfortunately in the process left my house keys in the house but was now locked out. I rented a house with my granddad at the time and to my shame had to get a 72-year-old up on a Saturday morning to meet me and get a key cut. He's the, already up at that point. The whole he? time, stinking of shit, commando, and covered in piss. <laughs> Why is he not cleaned with the piss? He's had all the baby wipes. He's wasted all his baby wipes <laughs> on his pants. He hasn't cleaned himself. His priorities are so insane. <laughs> We're not getting through this fucking story. We, you can try and bring oh, it back to the Patreon. Are you tell mum? A you tell mum was arrested. We've covered it. You know, she told it's people. You she's know, in yeah, jail. Yeah, yeah, she's in jail. She's a bad egg. You know, yeah. Yeah. But do you think this is the thing? Do you think with her, right? Yeah. You know the way you hear, what's he called? The war room. What's that boy that does the war room? Oh, Michael Spicer. No, no. He's no. one of them far right Americans. Jones. Oh. Jones. Alex, Alex Jones. Jones. Alex Jones. Yeah. So you look at them fuckers and you go, in order to get the clicks, yeah. they become more and more extreme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe this is here, your woman, maybe she started off and you go, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. if you've got a kid, you put it on the naughty step and then the clicks aren't coming to you. Go, you put them on the naughty step and you whoop them. Yeah. And you put them on the naughty step and you freeze. And yeah, it's, by it's the, the end progression like, to child abuse. the naughty step, just bum them. Just for clicks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just bum them for clicks. And she's but selling I, cages as merch. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Every one of those things as well, though, she'll start to believe her own hype. And if you're getting a load of positive feedback, if people are going, oh, you're brilliant, you're the best parent, you know what you're doing, then you, you start, well, I think, start to believe 
believe whatever you do I is have, right. I have seen uh, some clips of her, and I can tell you that that's probably not the case. Mm. I think she's just literally psychotic. Right. Yeah. Because she has that sort of, like, um, uh, tough love thing, but she's taken it to such an extreme. And I don't think it's to get clicks and stuff. I think it's just because she thinks she's right. That's mm. what I was saying, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, you start to believe your own hype, and you just go, I'm yeah, yeah, always yeah. right. And like, you're getting it just reinforced by likes and clicks. It's just, that's it was, just reinforcing what you already believe. It's, yeah. Some of the stuff is insane. Yeah. Like... You know, like uh, the stories about kids being left out all night on balconies and stuff. Yeah. And she'd just be like, oh, 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 you interrupted me, did you? Well, you don't get to stay in this house tonight. Yeah. You know, like. And it's like, yeah, are a, they're a child. Yeah. Like, yeah they yeah. might get some things wrong. Yeah. And like, they still should be indoors. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. Like, I'd rather have a kid who was in, ill disciplined and didn't have hypothermia. But, but the, oh. the reason that I bring, I bring it up really more than anything else is that channel that she did on YouTube. Right. Fully monetized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we never make any money off adverts. And all I do is call him a fat cunt. We never it's, abuse children on a, camera. It's a child abuse <laughs> channel. And, all, and they're like, yep, by all means. Yeah, yeah. Abuse children all you want, but no jokes about child abuse. <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe AI thinks I'm a child. And yeah. your, your constant abuse at me is getting us demonetized. Well, mm. then that wouldn't demonetize no, it. That's, that's the... fine. Channel, child abuse is clearly fine on the platform. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we need, need to t- abuse me more. I, that's what yeah. I was yeah. Thinking, Tom. I Maybe. have been thinking that. Well, you have been getting away with a lot of shit. Well, I do. Have... You get shown on the. Does it, the oh yeah, he's got a camera. Yeah, he's yeah, got his yeah. own camera. So why don't you get a kid to set in? <laughs> well, so... we did once actually. <laughs> 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 he went away for a couple of weeks. We got low master sitting. He didn't know how to work any of the tech, and it ran a load smoother. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's funny actually because I'm I'm not only just bringing the Ruby Frank story. Uh, for shits and giggles, but also because there I, have been some giggles. I have been. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very passionate about her being nominated for Cunt of the Week. If we're oh, the best way. segment of all time, Cunt of the Week. We can we can put her in. There's there's three anyway. Oh, he's got three <laughs> options. Uh, Martin, you're about to see the most laboured form feature we have ever had, okay. and that is fucking saying something. It's a great sting, though. It's a great sting. Here we go, Cunt of the Week. Cunt of the week. It's time for <laughs> Cunt of the Week. Let's spin the wheel. Oh, it's Lad Baby. It's Lad it's Baby. It's Lad Baby's Cunt of the Week. Lad Baby. Yeah. That seems a bit tame. No, no, oh, no like that's not it. That's, that's just not the, sting. That's not the end of it. Oh, that's, that's not there. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, is, he not, is he not the sausage roll guy? Yeah, he is. Yeah. We've got a long running beef with him. Do you remember Smug Roberts? Yeah, yeah. Smug, yeah. Had a song called uh, where he would go. Meat pie, sausage, sausage roll. roll. Yeah. Come on, England gives a go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, we got then a this, corner. Uh, and this guy's fucking. Oh, we, we had a top 40 single called Sausage Roll Cunt. Right, like having a go at yeah, we had yeah, a top yeah, 40 yeah. Christmas song. No so way. He's, yeah, so we've got a uh, like long running beef with him. Uh, to be honest with you though, Martin, if that was the whole feature and we just played that little sting, probably be a lot better than what normally happens now. <laughs> right. So like, let's go to Tom hey, for cunt of the week. It's a great feature. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you some stories about some people who've been cunts, and then at the end we're gonna have a lot, a lot of fun, and then we're gonna decide who's the cunt of the week. But the point is the fun along the way. It is the fun along the way. <laughs> At the end, we're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> I'd mess that up. I mean, I mean, we're going to have fun along the way, the and end, then at the end, we find out. At the end, we'll have a lovely time, and then we'll make some good friends. We will. That'll be the most important thing. Hey. To be honest with you, it's one of those things where the journey is actually more important than destination. After all, is there really a destination in this life, or are we all just flickering lights that one day will be exterminated by time? You never stop learning, and you never stop growing, and I think that's what comes to the way teaches us is that life is not a finite point it's more of a series of experiences to be enjoyed and shared with one another have you put some of that biker drugs in my coffee because <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's imagine, fucking kicked in now imagine if we just talked like that for the rest of the episode and didn't tell Mark what's going on <laughs> It's a long running bit where we impersonate Tom as ah. like this. Uh, it started out as just being like really grateful for everything because he's such a cheery <laughs> little fucker. He's just dead happy with everything. But it's become this like weird philo- philosophical <laughs> thing where little Tom just muses on life in the universe. I like it's, the bit off when he said, You never stop growing. Like, I famously he did he stop famously growing. He famously stopped growing when he was about four. <laughs> Right, let's see. So it's Come on, cunt of the week. Basically, three stories. You have to decide who the biggest cunt is. Man. There we go. Right, so the first one is called Firework. Yeah. 
One, er- one early morning after celebrating the new year, me and a few friends are walking. Sorry, back. sorry. One early morning. So he's got to talk like three in the morning. Or something. Yeah, no, but early one morning, surely. Oh, yeah. One Con- early that, morning. That's cunt of the week for yeah, the grammar. Bad grammar. Oh, there we go. Done. End forget of the picture. Forget that the was pedophile. Cunt of the week. <laughs> yeah, forget the child abuse mom. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Pedophiles. F- bad grammar. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> but you get what I'm saying, though. One early morning is ridiculous. I get it, mate. Yeah, okay. but also, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Me? Right. I, Our I fans are thick how is this news to you yeah this is true <laughs> there's a lot more to come early one morning you have to celebrate the new year me and a few friends are walking back home it was on our way back my mate found a fountain firework and we all egged him on to put it between his ass cheeks and light it what could possibly go wrong i was the most sober out of the group and most willing to put it in place for him and light it it was only when he started screaming i realized my mistake i put it in the wrong way He had a severely burnt ass. We had to go to hospital. We both got shouted at by nurses for being mongs. One of the nurses was his then fiance's aunt as well to add insult to injury. He had to wear a nappy for a month to help healing and couldn't go to work or sit down without an inflatable donut to sit on. Pictures included. Oh, God. One night was right after and the no, second... One, no, no, no. Try that sentence again. Sorry. One was right after and the second is a few weeks later. Let's see these pictures because I was going to call bullshit on this story, but we've got actual evidence. Yeah, I think this is the one when it first happened. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck. Oh. 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 Genuine baboon ass, isn't it? Jesus. Yeah. That must be one of the least damages, damaged anuses you've ever seen, Freddie. <laughs> 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 Man, that, that is, is brutal. Yeah. That is rough. And then the one Burns as well. It's going to sting so bad. It's like Nigel Farage's cheeks, doesn't it? <laughs> like... What, after the helicopter yeah, crash? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks like Freddie Flintoff's face. <laughs> and then this is it a few weeks later. Oh, it's worse. That's, that's a Rorschach painting. <laughs> Why what? does that ass look like my dad crying? <laughs> Your dad doesn't cry anymore now that he's left you. <laughs> oh, when the scabs were falling off. Oh, oh yeah, man. It's gone so red as well because, like, in the first one, you can't really see the extent of the minor burns because all that's mm. going to suck so bad. Yeah. So, Jesus you know, Chris Christ. Lynham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So his finisher, famously, his closer. Yeah, yeah. So, English clown. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Old time clown. Circuit style. legend. Yeah. Uh, puts a firework up his arse. Yeah. Gets they completely play, naked, puts yeah. his dick between his legs, firework up his ass and lights it. And they play no business like show business. Yeah. It's a great closer. Yeah. <laughs> so I've known him for years. And I was working with him and um, he was getting his firework thing ready. And I went, Does, has it ever gone wrong? And he went, yeah. He, it backfired. And and went, and I went, fuck. Like, mm. what, what did you do? And he, without missing a beat, went, I bought one of those things that people put c- uh, cigarette lighters in. And now I put it into that first and I went, no, what did you do? I went back when it backfired. He went, oh, no, I went to A&E. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, now what he does, fuck. he puts it in one of them leather things that people right. have their lighters in. So yeah, it yeah. But he still does that. He still yeah, performs. Yeah. Oh, the... I, like, I've, seen, like, I've seen it a bunch of times, and it is a fucking amazing closer. But I've seen it once where like we were at a dog shit gig with like 15 people in, and like everyone had had a horrible time. <coughs> still did the firework. I, um... still, you've got to admire that level of commitment yeah, to show yeah. business. I did a yeah. gig with him once, and it was in this pub. Oh, no, I was watching the gig. As a pun, so it was in this pub, and he uh, he used to do a thing where he'd steal audience members' shoes. Yeah, yeah. And he he grabbed an audience member's shoe, lobbed it across the room. It hit this mirror, smashed the mirror into a million pieces, and it was like an antique mirror worth like a thousand pounds. He was legendary. For, Seven years for bad luck as well. From... <laughs> yeah. yeah, I saw him do the the best heckler put down I've ever seen in my life. So we're doing a festival of fools. It's a circus festival in Belfast. And in the middle of Belfast, if you know the city, there's a place called um, uh, Corn Market. Uh-huh. And it's got like five or six streets come to it. So it's like a central point that used to have a bandstand. But it's yeah. like a big, perfect for street shows. So he's doing his street show there. And two lads turn up. They're probably like in their early 20s, scallies in track suits. And they're giving them dogs abuse and they just won't go away. And um, what he did was he ran around the back of the crowd. Everyone saw him running around, but the guys can't see that he's run around. They're still like heckling and shouting. And he just went behind them and grabbed both of their tracksuit trousers and pulled their tracksuit trousers down. So now they're standing in a crowd of people watching with their dicks out and they just shriveled. 
and that fucked is off. So funny. Wow. What a great put down. I mean, that Just... is also a bit me too, isn't it? Really? <laughs> like... Yeah, but it, it is a good put down. Someone's like, you shit. Well, let's look at your genitals. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> that had a really bad fire, though, if they both had massive dicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, the fucking hell. So, cut of the week is the person who put the firework in backwards, I assume. Mm. Maybe, maybe. Let's carry on. It's quite hard to put a firework in backwards. Yeah, it is. There's like a spike at the bottom for the ground. And it's like clearly like, labelled. They I have think, arrows yeah. on the side. Yeah, this is the point. How the fuck did you put a firework in backwards? Yeah. One's a firework and one's a little stick. I know. I would assume, like, I thought the bit that was going to be a problem is I've seen people online doing this. Because, like, Jackass did it where they shot a little firework out of their ass. But sometimes but it's a it little shoot. tiny rocket. Mm. And, like, sometimes they don't shoot and it just burns because it's just sat there or yeah. like uh, bits of hot stuff will fall into their bum hole basically that burn that's what I assume putting it in backwards is real dumb yeah you know? I think I think just putting a firework up your eyes in any situation mm. is quite dumb it's dumb but you know could be funny you've got to expect it to go wrong yeah 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 yeah, yeah there was it like my uh, like where my like my mum used to be a teacher ages ago and at one of her at schools there was a lad who played like under 16s rugby for England and his career ended because he put a firework up his ass and he like blew his legs apart and like just uh, his career was over he just couldn't play rugby anymore so like be careful with fireworks up your ass yeah. Yeah. you know the other thing is and it only occurs to me now having known Chris Lynham for probably 40 years mm. and seen him doing that act I had fireworks in one of my circus shows and they're called ice candles and they're an electronically detonated firework that look does that spark thing and they're not they're not hot mm. they do that same look yeah. and they're not hot and it's only occurred to me You've now You've never that, recommended them to Chris? No, that's what I mean. It's only occurred to me now that I used to have these in my show and it's They're never once pocket. crossed my mind to tell Chris that there's a cold version called an ice candle. <laughs> you'd ice think fountain. he'd check. Yeah. You'd think if anyone would be abreast of developments in the technology of indoor fireworks, it'd be the man who professionally sticks them up his ass. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's on in. I would have a Google alert set up. <laughs> yeah, you know? I'd, be, I'd have a fireworks guy. I'd be like, look, if there's ever any of these that aren't going to burn me ass, let me know. Yeah. Like, this I'd is re- my number. This is my email. Yeah, 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 Maybe yeah. he should be cutting the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> when I used to, when I used to do that firework act, so that would have been the early 1990s, yeah. and I used to buy them from a company who are still there in Denton, just near yeah. Manchester. Yeah, and uh, I would buy a case of these fireworks and the other stuff that I used in that show and he would store it for me in his lockup, and I would just go by and get I would get like a month's worth at yeah. a time so it was cheaper by the case but I never had the case I would go and get like half a dozen yeah. at a time yeah, yeah, yeah. and then on one occasion I was going to be away for a few months so I got a few months worth and when they came the box was labelled Semtex and I was going what the fuck yeah. and it's the detonators were made Semtex that Plastic explosive. Shit. Like, Semtex is a Czechoslovakian company called Semtex. Right. So much like Jurex became like the name for yeah, condoms. Yeah, yeah. Semtex is actually a company name. So I was buying Semtex products, knocking around fucking England hell. in the Northern mid-90s. Irish bloke. Northern yeah. Irish accent. That's not fucking dodgy. Jesus dog, Christ. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Phoning venues before you arrive to let them know you're coming. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Right, so there's one potential cunt of the week. This, there we go. Come on, Tom. This one's called Brother. Right. This I, one's long. It is long. I would like to nominate myself. Me and my older brother do not get along at all, and he always fucks with me. For example, once he came around to my flat after a night out, unplugged all the HDMI, HDMI cam- cables and iPhone chargers, tied them into a knot, and then super glued. <laughs> the super glue is unnecessary, <laughs> but it's a really funny prank to just unplug every HDMI cable. It's such a minor <laughs> irritation that you'd be such a pain oh, in the ass when you're hung over. No, do you know what? Fuck, what see, with my ADHD thing, yeah. right, that cables, I can't know what any of the... I can't see a cable and go, oh, that goes in the phone. Yeah. I, they all look... He's like that. Like, it's I, fucking confusing. I'm a cable guy, though. I know the na- I know the names you of love all the cables. Yeah, you I'm love a, cables. I'm a, fuck, I'm, a, I'm a real cable yeah. fucker. Yeah. 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 What did like, you just say about me? <laughs> <laughs> you say you're, like, technologically illiterate, basically. Like You said that I don't know what cables go in what. Yeah. How dare you? Do you know what cables go in what? Absolutely. Test me. All right, let, I really um, like the, if I unplugged anything in the studio, you wouldn't be able to put it back in. If you gave me the wire, I would. 
<laughs> eventually. <laughs> eventually he would. If I gave you the bit of equipment that goes, what wire goes in that? You go, that one. Is I, everything going to be USB-C? at some point maybe I reckon there'll probably be another one that uh, supersedes that because it's the thing where like everyone put USB A ports into their walls and shit and then that's been superseded by C uh, I don't know I think see what was A A was the normal USB ports right you know the standard ones yeah. and then C's smaller obviously you can put it either way so they see are if you only had what so in, in the car yeah. I take with when I go to gigs I've got a wee bag and in there is, is a camera is a audio recorder for recording the gigs yeah. and the iPad and everything takes a fucking different wire. Yeah. Phone takes a fucking different wire. That's so what I just USB-C carry is one. about. Like, so like all the phone companies who aren't Apple all agree to have the same charger. And like now Apple are going to have to have it, I think, because of a European ruling. Or they already do have it. Oh, do they? Right. Yeah, because I know about cables. <laughs> the cable guy here. He's, genuinely, I can't believe this is the thing he's annoyed about, that I said he doesn't know about cables. It's like, how I dare you? I live my life with cables. Yeah. It is the modern day lads, like the millennial version of a toolkit at home is a box full of cables for Fucking random shit. Yeah. Do you know what yeah, like, did God. come good? But I bought a new iPad mini yeah. and the plug is just a cube. Yeah. And when you pull the big pointy bit up, the whole thing springs out. Yeah. And I've almost worn it out just clicking it up and down. <laughs> it's so cool. Just as you've your got, fidget toy. You've got an actual iPad here that yeah, you never yeah, use. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, like yeah. a, it's like a cat playing with the box for the present. <laughs> in it. Right, let's get through right. this. Super Come on, mood. unplugged right, so all the cables. So good prank. Is your brother's a bit of a prick. No, nah, he's not. He's got a good prank. He's got a good prank. Despite being five years older than me, he never moved out. So to get him back for the years of abuse, I would drive home when I knew the house would be empty and open porn on the family iPad and leave it on his bed. I knew he never used it, so it would likely be picked up by my mum. It started off very light, but over the course of a few weeks got progressively darker. Nothing illegal, but still twisted. One day, he called me saying that mum and dad had sat him down and said he needed to see a psychiatrist about what he looks at on the internet. <laughs> what makes it even funnier is that apparently every time he tried to deny it, my mum would say, that's the addiction talk. <laughs> <laughs> In the end, he stormed off and they never talked about a game. But my mum does constantly send him help links and there is a parental lock on the Wi-Fi, even though he's 28. <laughs> what was even funnier was that some of the porn I got was gay. So apparently every time and they were watching ITV with him and Graham Norton or Ryland comes on, they will make a big deal of how brave they are <laughs> coming out to try and be supportive. He still has no idea why and tells me that it's really annoying him. <laughs> That's, That's so a good funny. prank. That's it's a good great. prank. But like, this isn't someone nominating a con, this is someone showing off that they've yeah. done a good prank. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a great prank, well done, but like, you know, like you're just showing off you, it. Yeah, yeah. You have to tell your brother maybe six months after he's moved out. Yeah, so, it's on his brother for not moving out. So yeah. your life out, mate. You're 28. No, he needs to wait until his mom and dad die, <laughs> and then tell his brother <laughs> at the funeral. Yeah, uh, at the funeral. In the eulogy. Uh, I wish I wish they'd lived long enough to know, and then tell them. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking amazing. I think you just need to subtly, subtly reinforce that he's gay. Just subtly all the time. Just like leave like, you know, like leave a little like rainbow headband in yeah. his, his room. Just little stuff all around. Just I think every time his brother is telling a story, like I went to the cinema and you're there with his parents, you go, oh, did you go with Peter? Did you, did you go with Peter, your friend Peter? <laughs> it would be, it would be, it would be. Oh, are you and Peter getting on? <laughs> it would be really funny not to give you extra ideas, but if you snuck into his room, room and left like butt plugs yeah 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 or, or uh, dildos condoms full of shampoo because it looks like cum uh, yeah, so you yeah. know you spray that around or the place. if the brother is yeah. listening and recognizes this mm. he just has to now be a gay man and yeah, then yeah, negate yeah. it that is a really good way to check beat me this up. prank check me just up. go fuck loads of men and then you win yeah <laughs> go fuck loads of men but keep the cum in your ass and then go around your brother and just fart on his sofa. Like a fucking sexy blast <laughs> noise. <laughs> you know <laughs> You know when they You know when you get them videos of people talking to people in the street yeah. and they're going, What's the worst thing you've ever done? Yeah, oh, I yeah, cheated yeah. with my boyfriend and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. I saw one of them on TikTok. You know when random stuff comes on TikTok and yeah. you're just watching, is it called it doom, doom scrolling? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I'd love that. I yeah. fucking love doing that. I love it too. It's why yeah. I can't do it. So I was looking and at it's, it. It's also why they have to call it doom scrolling yeah. Yeah. to make it sound bad. Yeah. But really, you just, because it, it's fun. Oh, that chills yeah. me right out doing that. Anyway, so 
young woman's talking to people on the street and she talks to this big fella and uh, she goes, uh, so have you got a nickname? And he goes something like, they call me the Croydon cum dump. <laughs> and she goes, why? What do you mean? Why? <laughs> the funniest answer, the funniest answer to that is if he went, because I'm from Croydon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I used to be the Dalston come down. <laughs> and then I've I recently moved, moved, yeah. I moved over now the Croydon. The Croydon come down. Uh, right, that guy's not a cunt. No, no, I like that guy. That's good. Was, this is a good prank. Yeah, it's a good prank, but like, I think the only way they can be nominated as a cunt is that the fact that they've not actually nominated a cunt, that they've actually just tried to show off a little and, uh, bit. Oh, so that makes, makes them, them a cunt. cunt. Yeah, 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 possibly. Yeah. Through. What's it, that they say? A uh, humble brag. Yeah, it's a classic humble brag. It's a cuntal brag, this cuntal one. brag, yeah. Okay, third one. Third teacher. cunt. Come on, Tom. Teacher. Let's bring this home. Cunt of the week. My mate is a teacher and hates his job. Mm -hmm. If one of the yep. kids was being a little shit, he would sit next to them and squeeze out a fart silently. I used to do that, but I used to fart on them. So I used to... What? You used to touch children with your ass? <laughs> no. <laughs> what I would do... How do you fart on them without touching them with your ass? So you just walk past and then you'd look at... like let, Let's say there's a, a little... You, 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 like if there's a knobhead in the middle of the room and you're like, I'm going to fucking get him, the little cunt. You would help whoever's desk is like mm -hmm. over there, and then you could bend over yeah. and be like, "Oh, number of the like that." Yeah, but like them. they knew. There's no way you did a subtle fart with your baggy gaping eyes. Oh no, I, I wanted them to know. <laughs> <laughs> How old were these children? It's fucking secondary school, so right? Like, yeah. Usually about <laughs> thirteen to fifteen. So they were old enough to know that it was vengeful. Mm. Oh yes, yeah. Yeah, too yeah, old yeah, for yeah. Freddie to be interested sexually. <laughs> <laughs> So, come on, Tom. Number three. So he's doing these facts. He would then stand up, holding his nose, and ask if the kid needed to go to the toilet. He also That's very funny to be like, ugh. <laughs> he also told me that during exams, him and another teacher would play battleships. This is where they would pick a category, yeah. like smelliest, and both pick a kid in their head and take turns standing next to the kids. They think the other one is picked to try and sink their battleship. Yeah, so that's a classic teacher move. Yeah, right? in exams yeah, in and exams. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, people think that teachers are like, oh, oh, do they talk about the kids? Do they talk about us? That's literally all they fucking mm. talk about. Yeah. All they and, they and they're not like... So there's some teachers who are professional at all times, and they're like, oh... Jaden is very challenging today, isn't he? And there's other teachers that the minute they go this time, like that Jaden is a little fucking cunt. I would fucking love to slap his mum. Yeah. yeah. So, but some this people just rub their bums on kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. That'll learn you. You know when you see a um, you know when you see the grizzly bear, yeah. and they rub themselves on a tree, and yeah. it's and they rub their arse on it, scent marking. That's what Freddie was yeah, doing to the children. Yeah, it's like blue. <laughs> Yeah, so the other teachers could know who the cunt yeah, children were. Yeah. yeah, rubs his ass up against him singing the bare necessities. <laughs> <laughs> um, this doesn't sound particularly cunty. No, to this me. one's shit. To be honest, Tom, that one's absolutely shit. What a shit! A shit. Uh, this just sounds. Whoever like wrote this in, you shit. Hey, just they might not to... win, but the segment has proved fruitful again. Has it? Oh, the journey that this the journey, journey the is the journey right. in the journey. little voices. Yeah, yeah we did So if we have to nominate a cunt out of those three, so yeah. we got firework. I yeah. think I think it's firework for putting a firework in the wrong. Yes. Firework, brother, yeah. and teacher. Yeah, it's got to be firework. Yeah, got to be firework. Uh, I'm going to nominate brother uh, for just boasting when they're going to be sending in a cunt. Hmm. Because the thing uh, with Tom's so, is, is Tom's so there's, happy. Only one, there's only one vote left. Tom. <laughs> so happy. Tom's his, vote. His little face lit up. I'm going to go. For fireworks, because I'm going to take this... There's uh, actually a winner! There's a winner! There's actually a winner! This firework cunt is the cunt of the week. Yes. Uh, in the league table, Lad Baby is ahead by quite a distance. Yeah, Lad Baby <laughs> has won five weeks in a row. <laughs> this is the first time that there hasn't been a draw. We've had to spin the wheel of Lad Baby's one. Right, right. Yeah, Congratulations. So, Congratulations, Fire, Tom. Firework cunt sounds like a good category as well, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let us know. I'll send you a prize. We've just been sent a lot of free shit. I'll send people yeah, a prize. Yeah. From now on, I'm going to send a prize for cunt of the week, I've just yeah. decided. The sponsors. <laughs> Keep sending us things. <laughs> you said that in the past, Patreon's going to get surprises. Well, it was for the best content. Yeah. Okay. But now I'm thinking, cut of the week, I think we'll get a good prize. If I think just pick one lane and stick to it. Yeah, maybe just... To be honest, I'll almost certainly forget. <laughs> <laughs> and it took me three weeks to send the last prize, yeah. and it was on my desk the do whole time. Want, do you want to make any more wild promises you're not going to keep, Tom? Uh, horse cum. <laughs> <laughs> you're keeping that one. You're fucking drinking but horse But here, I, I know them people in Denton that have the firework shop. Yeah. You could get a firework, remove 
all evidence of which is the right end, and that could be the prize in Cunt of the Week. Perfect. They Absolutely. have to send Perfect. in a video, yeah. so, so like to, roulette, like Russian roulette. So to yeah. clarify, this is a man who, for three weeks, didn't bother sending out something that was already in the studio, <laughs> and now you're giving him an errand to run that involves picking up a firework that's been specially modified. Yeah. Mm. Also, There's no way in hell he would do that. No one's selling him fireworks without a parent. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even buy chewing gum. Excuse me, Mister. Can I have a rocket? I just think it's so life affirming when you see those beautiful explosions in this guy. How old are you, Matt? Thirty-six. Is that you do? You do. He's actually old, very young. He's actually older than both of us. He does. <laughs> he does. He does he's the look, oldest one. To be honest, Tom, I only met you today. The first time, you seemed like a nice fella, but I it does. Don't I let think, that fool you. I think at the end, when I shake hands with you, because you do, you look young. Yeah. I think I'll shake hands with you and smell Freddie's arse off you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's got nothing to do with my age. Uh, <laughs> how old are you, Martin? You look like you're sixty. Sixty. Well, sixty. You know, yeah, mate, just you, October. Yeah. yeah. How's your uh, How's your COVID been? So it's still still got long COVID, so it's boring. Yeah. yeah. But I did uh, as a sixty year old. Did just two weeks ago have uh, surgery, same as King Charles had, for a... Bomb cancer? No, prostate, enlarged prostate. Fucking So hell. they cut away a piece of your prostate. So we're there when we had the break and I yeah. ran, pissing blood. Fuck. It's not as much fun as it sounds. No. I've pissed no. blood before. It's not how you think it is, is it? No. Because you think pissing blood is going to be pure blood coming out and it's not. It's like no. a coppery sort yeah, of Coca-Cola yeah. thing. Do you know what? There was a, there was a genuine great moment uh, in that. So... When I got, so you have the operation and they put a catheter in, which is a tube, isn't it, into your bladder. Yeah. And the first couple of days in the hospital, you're walking around, they're flushing you through. Yeah. And so it's, you're not pissing, it's just coming out into another bag. And then when the, the nurse took it out, she went, oh, they've used a big tube. This is quite a large tube. I bet you were like, My, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but she goes, but they mean large as fat, not yeah. the, yeah, not length. And she goes, um, It'll take a few days for your urethra to go back to normal. Ugh. She goes, but it will go back. Don't don't worry about it. So then the first real piss that I had uh. came out like fucking thunder. Yeah. It was amazing. Uh. A blood red, real streaming That's piss. Metal as fuck. fuck. <laughs> I wish I'd, vi- if I'd videoed that, I'd have sent you the video. Yeah, oh, mate, we would have loved quality. it. Quality. Yeah, yeah. Speaking but, of videos. Yeah, Tom's got a segue. So, so we have a thing here where we get people to send in our most fucked up videos. Okay. Martin, you're a man of the world. Yeah. You've, you've, you've lived many lives. Is there anything that you can't stomach? No. Okay. Oh, I don't like if you, you know, remember there was that thing, like, so Steve Harris sent it to me, the two girls eating shite out of a Two girls, cup. one cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not a big fan of them, but right. they're meant to make you go, yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah, Steve yeah. Harris was sending yeah. everybody so, them. Well, maybe we'll maybe have to show you a bit of Naked Martin if uh, that's the thing. But like, uh, to be honest, I, I, like, how are they today, Tom? Uh, we've got some funny ones, we've got some silly ones, we've got some good ones. And right. if you want to send the video in, by the way, uh, yeah. send it via WhatsApp to 07 354 Send us the worst video on your phone, but as ever, there are some rules. Uh, no uh, like no death, no children, no racism. What's the other one? No animals. No, uh, no animals. Although, to be honest with you, we'll relax three of them, as long as it's not child porn. Um, and even then, if you blur the face. Yeah, no animal porn. And like, look, basically, the, the, my rule of thumb is no assaults or attacks, actually. Are oh, I don't mind that. Right, uh, but they are illegal and we can't show them, so. Is yeah, there, no, but just Have you me. looked at the legal guidelines? Well, Garrett Millerick <laughs> told us about this, yeah, and we did have to readjust the way we uh, Yeah, we realised that we'd broken quite a few laws. Yeah, we had to delete uh, some of the back catalogue, thanks to... Because right. Garrett was like, you will go to jail. And we were like, oh. So, I like, know, Tom will go to jail. Yeah, that's true. We're going to sign everything over into Tom. Gee, though, mister, this prison's awfully well run. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for putting me on this nonce wing for me safety. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting some structure and routine. <laughs> Do you want me to help you write your legal letters? <laughs> uh, right, yeah. let's go with close shave. First. Right, what's that? This one is horrendous. Right, okay, just starting strong. Yeah, yeah. Okay. horrendous. Right. Yeah. There is, by the way, there is a sick bucket in front of you, Martin. If you okay, know. there's a branded Honestly. sick bucket. That, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Whoa! Oh, I've seen this guy. Yeah. That's not real, is it? Yeah, it's stage makeup. He's a fucking idiot. I thought it might be stage makeup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why would he just be shaving it like that, you moron? Because he's mental. 
It's so yeah, it's obvious. It's yeah, so it obviously <laughs> stage makeup. It we'll looks like it must out. be. We'll yeah. No, don't keep it in. No, I want that's staying in. To know. You fucking little idiot. That's not getting edited out. You're a moron, Tom. I only saw it very briefly. Well, pay attention. Well, fucking I, I Dave. Uh, you know, if you like that, Tom. Right, right, you, if you like that, Tom, you'll love Star Trek. Oh, <laughs> mate, it'll blow your mind. If he watched Robocop, he'd be like, that's bloody mental. His, his brain was golden. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they are. Well, if you do enough drugs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe that's, that's what, what happens. Is, yeah. Well, I watched it very briefly. Went, oh, that's horrible. And I'll yeah. just keep it. I didn't really what, pay attention to it. What if we said about watching the whole video, Tom? You have to watch the whole video before you show them. Yeah. Because sometimes what happens is, oh, this is a normal video, and then someone gets stabbed in the face. Do you know yeah, what? Look, out, look at this little journey we've been on. Psycho- <laughs> <Not> psychologically, <laughs> Tom. Psychologically, this, this I wonder this... what what would happen from watching too much. So I yeah. I came back from Amsterdam once. And the other act that I was with had bought a porno. This is in the 90s. Yeah, yeah. And he didn't want that. And I brought it back in my bag. I threw it in my bag and a, a porn DVD. And when they stopped me at Manchester Airport, they found... it was just, I hadn't hidden that. They yeah, just yeah. found that and they went, that's illegal. And I went, all right, what happens? And they go, the guy in the back room checks it, that it's illegal porn. Yeah. And I went, he watches that. He goes, yeah, he watches fast forward porn. That's his job. He watches it and fast forward, <laughs> and then they gave me a um. They gave me. They took it, yeah. and I had to sign. Said nothing's ever going to happen. Yeah. Get, I had to sign a thing that said uh, illegal importations, goods seized, and I had to sign it. So when I got back, my mate Selwyn, who used to run the Frog and Bucket, used to be manager of Frog and Bucket, I said to him, "I got a porno, and they they stole it. Look at that there." And I I gave him the letter, and I forgot all about that thing they'd give me. Then, ages later, he moved into his own house and I went around to the housewarming. And on his stairs, as you walked up the stairs, was one of my publicity photographs framed with the fucking letter. <laughs> ah, that's, that's so fucking funny. fucking great. <laughs> but, uh, right, let's see what else let's Tom's got. Up. Here's going to be a nice clip from Starship Troopers. <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Foot Job. Mm-hmm. Okay, I reckon I reckon I know where this is going. Yeah, like if I've got any intuition, oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Did you think it was going up a man's ass? Possibly. <sighs> Fucking hell! Why is that man wearing stockings? Because he's gay. Uh, okay. I think he's being <sighs> foot jobbed by a woman. Oh, though. he is actually. Yeah. <gasps> Jesus <sighs> Christ! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like birthing a cow. <laughs> What's he saying? <laughs> he's foreign. German, isn't it? This is how they invent that there. That's how they invented black metal, isn't it? (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. So the question that springs to mind is... Get the heel in. Are they... Going to need a shoe on. (laughs) Are they doing it just for the novelty? Or are people genuinely out there doing this? Oh, people like... Look, not loads of people. This is something you've got to work up to. Must be on that. Oh, look, look, look. You're not oh. just doing this for the views, oh. you know. Oh. Oh. If you're just doing it for oh. the views, you don't try and get the ankle in. Oh. Oh, Once you get the heel in, this is then it. you're all, then you're you're away. You're basically oh. neat. Oh. <laughs> oh. Brain? Jesus oh, Christ. Oh. oh. That's a big that. Still, probably not as bad as Martin's prostate. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. There we go. There's a lovely classic prolapse. Doesn't that look like that gets, would be that much fun for her. It no. doesn't look like it's going to be that much fun for anyone, mate. You, you know when you see a video and it's two women and they've got a strap on mm. and one of them's sucking it? Yeah. yeah. That doesn't look like it's much crack for anyone, does it? No, they're doing it for the money, I think, Martin. Yeah. I don't think there's many lesbians at home blowing strap-ons. No, no, that, that's specific, that, isn't it? Yeah, that's specific, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 I, like, I never get that as well. Just like watch some porn where there's like someone with a dick Yeah. getting it sucked off, in it. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Typical lesbians. Typical lesbians. Yeah. 
Just that was away. just constantly. That's kind of but those ones like that where you go, oh, I hadn't really thought do people do that. Yeah. They're kind of fun, like when somebody's discovered a new continent or yeah. something. Yeah. I, I agree. <laughs> it's and the Christopher Columbus of yeah, it's it's like like the creativity of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's imaginative. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm constantly we're constantly finding new ones as well. Uh, you know, I like, think there's nothing you could imagine. We could make something up now and it wouldn't exist. There is a thing, it's I think it's like rule thirty seven of the internet. It's something like that. There's rule number and it's like if it exists, there is porn of it and rule 38 is if there isn't porn it must be made <laughs> well that brings us nicely onto our next one excellent what have we got next this one's called eggs eggs are they going up that fella's Egg. arse he's got a, this one with a lot of eggs What's a lot of marshmallows and, she's and big she's... old gaping asshole <laughs> a speculum with a torch. Do you know if you're shining a torch up your hole <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you can literally see into a fucking oh my oh, fuck. god this is like an exhibit at Eureka. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a water slide for eggs. Those... <laughs> there should be a little Greek lad at the top going, go, go, <laughs> pushing him down with his So feet. there must be a world record for stuff like this, mustn't there? Well, maybe we need to do world records too. <laughs> yeah. You that is crazy. When eggs are just being put in, she's not, to be no. clear for anyone listening to this, she's not pushing eggs in. Are they not she's seeing this as well? These they, are hard-boiled eggs. Well, no, if they want to see this, they've got to join our Discord. We can't put this on YouTube. All oh, right, oh, okay. I'm oh, not surprised. Oh, so you should describe it Oh, there's one then. left. Oh, my God. There's one egg that is getting clapped about. Oh, they're all in there now. They're all they're in there. All there's in like there. two dozen Now she's eggs. just fisting marshmallows up her ass. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> thud. That thud is brutal. Like a little hold mouth on, inside hold on, hold on. This is Chekhov. This it's is the same woman. It's the same woman. It's the same woman. What woman? Obviously. Chekhov. Oh, look. There's a little bit of uh, coloration. I reckon, you know, you know what's, yeah, there is a little stainy. Do you know what's so mad? The moment I realised it was her was the sound of it <laughs> <clapping>. <laughs> You I recognise that. We used to have that on a soundboard. Can you get a check of it? It'll be in the Hall of Fame. You recognised her by the sound of her, her arse. arse clapping. Did not recognise her face at all until I heard that clapping. It'll be. It'll definitely be in. I'm sure this will be in the Hall of uh, the Hall of Shame. It's got to be. Uh, It'll be it? on the drive. All oh, right. Um, I'll try and get it. We'll edit in. Yeah, we'll edit it in. But basically, the woman behind you. If you look on the uh, wall behind well, you, she is there it. with that enormous dildo. This one. That's her. Yeah. That's right. her. She is one of the all-time classics from this podcast and she's uh, back there good to see her doing so well so here's here's a question then as yeah. you guys know about this stuff yeah. but uh, clearly we are, we are clearly experts. yeah when you do something like that yeah is she not just having shit falling out of her for days must afterwards do. yeah she's doing some serious damage to her ass you must yeah, be mustn't yeah, yeah, yeah. you we've never we do need to get a doctor on here to be honest to and show I, them some of the videos to be like yeah. a full yeah. omelette falls out of her <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> or, a chi- or a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but when it's uh, it's them sweeties that were, what would you call them sweeties? Squidgies or something. Yeah, them yeah, sweeties. Yeah, yeah. Why would you, you could see why you would go to, if you're going, let's put something up your arse. Yeah. You could see why an egg, because yeah, we yeah, know yeah. it sort of gets laid. All yeah, the thing about an sense. egg Smooth, speaks right about arse, it. doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> But them sweeties, yeah. what made the jump of imagination that go, oh, let's get the pick and mix. But yeah, I, yeah, like, so, somebody's, no, somebody's requested eggs and that. Yeah, so they wanted video. both combined. I like, I like oh, yeah. the idea that she went into the supermarket for the eggs and the sweets were just by the till. Yeah. Went, oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> but it's like, it's got a scratch card in there as well. <laughs> Got a vape. She's got an elf bar up there. Loads of chewing gum up her ass. Do you know what, Bart? See them? I don't Charity know about, box. I don't know if it's that woman, but you know some of the OnlyFans people? Yeah. You can ask them to do things. Oh, we know. You should do one with your... Well, actually, what we've some done is... Some of your merch. We, we have, we have had... Uh, if you look at another guy behind you, Naked Martin, the one holding the sign saying Dead Men Talking, the best podcast. That's yeah. our friend, Naked Martin. Right. He uh, does videos online where he puts things up his ass or like shits in his hand and smears it on his face and stuff. He's a right laugh. He did do a custom video for us that Barry Dodds got made where he um, he uh, wanked on a photo of Freddie, was it? He wanked on you. No, sh- I think he wanked on you and shat on me. Yeah, he shat on Freddie, then licked it off, and then he wanked on a photo of me and licked it off. And so did you request that? or did Barry he... Dodds did. Barry Dodds did. Barry Dodds wrote to him, but he already knew the podcast, so he was well up for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so like, okay. man, he's an absolute legend. So, that, so Barry 
wanted to see you getting wanked mm -hmm. on and uh -huh. Freddie getting shot yeah, on. Suspect, yeah, suspect, isn't it? Isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's because instantly, I instantly go to what's going on in their heads that would come yeah. up with that. Barry Dodd, there's a lot going on in Barry Dodd's head. Uh, like, he is a deeply troubled man. Yeah. <laughs> see, now I can't help but think what I would get me if I was getting one. <laughs> Of used to yeah. reach out to Naked Martin on Twitter. He'll, he'll do Naked you Martin. Want. Yeah, Naked oh, Martin, he's, he's, he's a top dude. Like, um, yeah, right. and that's how he makes his money by yeah. getting people to ask for videos. Yeah. Yep, he does custom videos. He'll do. He'll do fucking out. Huh. Right, and he's a great lad. He's a really nice bloke as well. He's a really fun guy. Yeah. Uh, right. What else have we got? Well, what's Sig next? Okay. I was going to save eggs for last, but we just lingua so well. We'll yeah. do Sig next. Um, this is an odd one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh no! Cigarette, cigarette, genitals. some testicles. I mean, like, <sighs> oh, oh my god! He's not doing that to himself. He's doing no. it to someone underneath him. I yeah, think he's doing it to yeah, himself yeah, at yeah. first. That, that's, that's a, a girl. Woman, that's a girl sat on someone. I don't think that's a girl. That girl, that girl's got a boner. <laughs> oh, oh, look at all them scars! Oh my god, there's so oh. many. They're so deep. Oh, mate, looks like Mr. Burns' head. <laughs> Oh, oh my I was quite God. pleased that stopped there. Yeah. 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 I wonder but with that, if that's your gig, if that's what you're into, yeah. getting cigarettes put out on your balls, I wonder would you develop calluses? Like builders must, when they've yeah. got calluses on their... My, <laughs> my mate, how thick his ball skin my, is. My yeah. mate's a builder, and as a thing he used to just do in the pub when he was, we used to smoke, he yeah. used to just put a cigarette on his callus on his hands. Yeah, I yeah, wonder yeah. if your man's got, like, really calloused bollocks. I wonder if he smokes. <laughs> <laughs> There's only so calloused a bollock can get, though, in it. It's not the same as, like, hand skin can get yeah. tough and thick. Yeah, I don't know. How do we know that? That's true, yeah, yeah. You it's know, just generally ever, speaking. If we you've look ever after stubbed out fags on your balls, let us know in the comments. Sounds yeah. like a science experiment we need to do. Because <laughs> some people that do that, with, do marathon running, yeah. complain that when they start, their nipples get Tom chafed. Tom bought some nipple stickers. Did you? I did buy some nipple stickers. You yeah, did, yeah. For running. Yeah, yeah. and then and people for, say you get you know, used to it, don't they? After a while, you get yeah, used to it. Your, your you nipples tough hot, tough. So maybe you're maybe we just have been too yeah. molly coddling our bollocks. Maybe, yeah. yeah, yeah. We need to, that's it. You need a little bit of resistance training on your testicles. Yeah. I wonder why tough bollock skin isn't already a thing. Because like because mm. you'd imagine that the bollocks themselves are quite a precious cargo. Mm. You'd imagine that naturally evolution would have like a harder case. Yeah, but like the problem with it is heat, uh, like heat destroys it. That's why they hang heat. away from the body because, like, if they get too hot, it kills the sperm. So, like, yeah. you've got to compromise these things. And it's like, it's not like evolution, evolution doesn't work by evolution going, oh, it'd be good if that had a protective case. Yeah. It's like, if a protective case is useful, it'll eventually come out. Yeah, of the genes, that's you know? right. So and like, that, yeah. So, we find other ways of protecting our bollocks by trying not to get them. Kicked. And maybe because we're now where we're at, apart from that guy, the rest of us. Our bollocks are relatively safe. Yeah, the bollocks yeah, will yeah, stay yeah. the same now, won't they? I, th I think our bollock evolution is probably done. Yeah, yeah, I would probably say. peak. Yeah, yeah. Peak, peak bollock evolution. <laughs> it's only downhill from now. Yeah. Everyone's doing te like fucking uh, steroids and that, isn't it? Ruining the bollocks. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's popular now, steroids, isn't it? Right, what else we got, Tom? This is the last one. It's called Eyes. Oh, God. <sighs> this is one for why. <laughs> okay. Okay. We need to get a faster laptop. Oh, yeah. So first off, oh, oh, she's getting the clockwork orange eye she's opener. She's clamping her eyes open. Oh, getting the clock. Oh, no, no. Oh, nah, what's nah, going nah. in him? No. Nah. Shall we just pause and place our bets for what's going in him? Uh, I'm going to go odds on favourite cum. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it must yeah. be. It's got to be cum. Cum's dealer's choice. Do you know what? I'm going to go with piss. Oh, hello. Oh. Interesting. Oh, uh, there's a dick. Oh, nah. Nah. <sighs> nah. That is <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> That is fucked up. Oh, oh my God. She's oh. in it to clamped over. And she's not even wriggling. Oh. Tell you what's the worst thing about that. Oh. It's such a pathetic jizz, right? If you're mm. going to jizz in someone's eyes, don't dribble it in there. Yeah, but maybe he's not into it. <laughs> maybe <this laughs> maybe he's been there. No, yeah. no somebody's requested that yeah, video because yeah. they're into it for whatever happened yeah. when they were a kid and they seen something oh. and they're into it and then they they you know they were wanking and clockwork orange came on the yeah. table I, I think also it, you've got to dribble it because it, it's such a small target you can't hit oh. that from the other side of the room oh no I just Bullseye. shotgun the area I just cover the whole area yeah but then, then if you hit the nose you're like fuck sake I've got to do so, it again like, I've it's asked, like them trick shots I, I <laughs> do like 50 goals yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've accidentally jizzed in a woman's eyes and I felt terrible about it. She was in like real discomfort afterwards. <laughs> like, you know, like Did you know her? <laughs> I knew her. <laughs> To be clear, I was trying to jizz in the general vicinity, right. just not specifically the eyes. You know, like it wasn't like I, I yeah, tripped over and jizzed. Did you ever like, see that poor mid that... forehead to lip? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I was trying to like... cover all in, but she yeah. didn't close her eyes in time. Basically. Did you ever see that brilliant porn blooper that was going round? And so, whatever, what, they say they're in the missionary position, and the guy's on top, and the cameraman is trying to get the close up, but the guy pulls out the jizz on the woman on her body, and it's just more than he thought. Straight in the cameraman's face, and he tries to be professional and uh. keep going, and he's just getting spunked on. <laughs> oh. It's not all glamour working in porn. Sometimes, how was work today, honey? I hope he got paid extra that yeah. day. <laughs> Freddie would be there catching yeah. it like a performing seal. Got... You know, like you know, like how bricklayers have got wet pay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you get time and half if you get jizzed uh, on. Well, that is a horrible thing to do to someone. Well yeah. done, Sam. That's the end of the videos. Mm. Yeah, lovely today. section. Lovely section. Isn't it funny about how um, how almost immune yeah. that we are these days to because we've that seen one got so many Freddy more than most actually. Like, yeah, I didn't like yeah. that at all. I think it's something one. about your eyes being open. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> that waste of cum. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, this has been a fucking blast having you here, mate. I knew it would be fucking grand. Uh, like, have you got anything you want to plug? Any socials where people can find you? So I'm on. I'm. I'm on. I'm trying to do TikTok. Yeah. And but relatively new, so I'm just starting to put up gig videos. Oh, nice. And I'm on Inst. I'm on all them things, but mostly I'm just fannying around on them. Yeah. I'm not really trying gonna to. Gonna go sell on tour things. soon, aren't you? Going to, I'm doing all my club gigs, going yeah. to Edinburgh, going to do a wee fringe. tour. What, what, Go what see Martin in a club. Yeah, Brighton Fringe, we've got the Circus Bastards show. Nice. Edinburgh Fringe, I'm going to have uh, a new stand-up hour awesome. uh, in the stand this year, going to the stand. Oh, so it'll be nice. Yeah. And, uh, yeah but so I'm go just... see Martin live, uh, cracking comedian, great dude. So, mate, thank you so much for Thanks being for here, having mate. me. This has been a fucking great one. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, get on our Patreon. It is £3 a month, or you can have a free trial for a week, and there is shit loads of content on there. You can watch us try to break some world records was our latest special. It was loads of fun to so get on that. Uh, Patreon, support... Patreon.com forward slash Devon Talk Pods. That's correct. Well done, Freddie. Thank you. And uh, also support our sponsors they're nice and they give us money uh, <laughs> uh, yeah that's it basically in it that's all we got to do yeah uh, oh dead meat as well oh yeah dead meat our festival on July 27th get your tickets now it's going to be fucking amazing it's going to be absolute chaos so uh, get those tickets at deadmentorpod.com and then fuck off yeah fuck off oh yeah fuck off everybody <laughs> Looking for a dating app for kink and fetish alternative lifestyles? Check out our sponsor, Kink D. That's K-I-N-K-D. Kink D is one of the most famous kink, BDSM and fetish dating apps. They have been featured on HuffPost, Yahoo, Cosmopolitan and more. Kink D allows you to find and meet local kinksters to fulfil your sexual fantasies. Go to kinkdapp.com to get your free membership. You can also find the app in the Apple App Store or on Google Play. Again, that's kinkdapp.com. Join now and get access to the free bondage BDSM kink and fetish dating community for singles, couples, and swingers. That's kinkdapp.com. K-I-N-K-D-A-P-P dot com. Yeah.